sound known in Sydney in Australia Wrote a boy with a six gun in his hand And his daring life of crime Made him a legend in his time oh. East and west of the Rio Grande Well, he's gone over the bank in Valentine In the pocket of his vessel coat he hid And his age and his size Took the teller by surprise And the word spread of the Wallaby King
whoa, whoa. Hello, hello, hello. G'day, g'day. How you doing? I've missed you guys. Put my hat on. I've missed you guys. Totally missed you guys, man. Hold on. Uh, I tell you what. This, listen. There is a mighty bug going around my family at the moment. <clears throat> oh, that's my phone. Hold on. Let me just move my phone. Uh, a mighty bug. Now, I'm okay for now, but uh, I've heard some scary tales, guys. Some scary tales from my brother. Holy shit. <laughs> ah, sh okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can take seven telegrams with me. I don't really want to fucking stand here. But then again, i got to reply to shit. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. So, yeah, my, my brother, Aiden, he woke up the other night and went to the bathroom. Everything was fine. He's, he's just doing, doing his thing. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he gets sweaty. Right? He gets lightheaded. And then... He violently vomits so loudly that the entire house is woken up and everyone thinks there's a murder going on. And then from that day on, everyone's been taken out. My mum, Tony's fucked. I saw him yesterday, he's completely fucked. The kids, fucked. Everyone's, everyone's wrecked, man. And guess what? They all, they all came over my house yesterday. So I'm pretty sure I'm fucked too next. So if I'm sitting here and all of a sudden I get sweaty, I'm letting you guys know right now, we're ending stream, okay? I ain't fucking with this. Apparently, listen, I, it's, it's no joke. Aiden told me that he vomited so fucking hard and violent, he was vomiting blood at the end, okay? It's no joke, man. That's some scary shit. Let me sip on my coffee. Don't worry. He's only got a week and a half until Australia's Strongest Man. He's going to be fine, guys. He's going to be fine. I swear to God. He's, he's in perfect condition. Just a little blood. It's whatever. All right. Man, I got... Uh, where'd this stuffy nose come from? Oh, no. An interview from Clara Carter. Hello, Mr. Wallaby Kid. Hope you're doing well. My name is Clara Carter. And I'm a reporter for the Saints Daily Paper. I was wondering if you'd be willing to meet with me for an interview regarding some of your business. If you have any interest, please tell me back if you have any interest. Thank you, Clara Carter, Saints Daily Paper. Oh, looks like someone's doing their job. Okay, I'll give you an interview. I know what business you're talking about. I don't really run the, any business at the moment, but, you know, we'll interview. Uh, Wallaby Kid. Interview. I heard a gunshot. I am open to your offer. Let me know when you are around and we can discuss... Compensation. <laughs> there you go. Lesson number one in my business. Don't do nothing for free. The Wallaby Kid. Cars are still on car. That's how you spell it, right? Compen compensation? Master Crossing's all I do. Is that good? Are we good? That's good. <sighs> the Syndicate. Annisburg News. Oh, what is this? What we're fucking... What is this? Anis Law searching, oh, law searching at the port of Guama. Deliver illegal goods being transported back and forth. Dude, dude, it's so sad. Like, maybe we should start doing, maybe we should start doing deals with Guama again, man. What happened to Guama, man? There's also a new sheriff by the name of Holt stationed here. So, Annisburg, oh, 
la dee dee. Can't sleep. Yeah, it wasn't around. Canterbile. I've been shipped to Gwarma as a war correspondent. Yours fearfully. Oh, you fucking useless prick, man. I want to remind you. Hey, yeah, good. Positive stuff. Positive stuff. So what's what's coming next? The shit? Situation. This doesn't sound fucking promising. Ciao, kid. I have to have a chat privately with you regarding a few matters. Oh, fuck. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Cesari. Wallaby. From what I hear, the great great no Mate. The sound of their last name. Still want to talk? If so, so, let me know when you wake up. You old bastard. Ya prick. Person of interest. Chow, if you spot a man named Tony Spamoni, please let me, me or Pearly know. Okay, right, Tony Spamoni. Yeah, I'll remember that. Need to talk. I need to talk to you before you see anyone else. A lot went down and people are very emotional. I need to update you. And we need to be smart on how we deal with this. Oh, fuck me. Okay, great. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Right? Right, guys? That's, that's, that's not too bad. I, I was expecting, like, you know, two days off. The world would be burning. But, you know, if it's just a, if, if it's just a little thing we want to talk about, we're good. I spent all of yesterday. It was so fucking hot yesterday, guys. So hot yesterday. You have no idea. It's going to be hot again today, just not as hot. So I should be... Let me just unplug my fucking mouse. Hold on. Eh. All right, there we go. It was so hot. Uh, me, Luna, Sarah, uh, the cats, we just we just sat in the air-conditioned room because we've got one room that's air-conditioned. We sat in there, and that was it, man. I hibernated. <laughs> Even hibernations in the winter. But you know what I mean. I just put the Dark Knight on. Watched some fucking Forged in Fire. It was chill, man. One room, man. One room to rule them all. That's right. That's right. <sighs> Fuck. So we're going to find Irene. Probably should have telegrammed her, but you know what? That would be efficient. And we don't do that around here. I haven't done Wallaby's, Wall, uh, Wallaby's voice in a little bit. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Amy. Hello. How are you How doing, are you Amy? Doing? Well, uh, Amy, uh, I'm, I'm doing... All right. Not particularly fabulous, though. Why? What's the matter? Well, some somebody decided to shoot somebody in my house, and then somebody also decided to try and blow it up. Someone shot someone in your house? Yes. And then someone tried to blow it up? Yes. What have you been but doing, Amy? I have... Annie, I, I haven't been doing anything. Uh -huh. All of this happened while I was asleep. Right. Have you been having some kind of affair? I'm going to pretend like you didn't ask me that. Well, I'm just making sure because you know how, like, you know, you can't be sleeping around with married fellas. I'm not sleeping with anyone, Mr. Wallaby, and it's not any of your business either. Well, I'm just, you know, I'm just going through all the possibilities. Well, those are none of them. All right. Well, how's, uh, how's Edwin? Well, I, I suppose he's all right. He's, he's with everyone else at the parlor house up there. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Hello. Yes. Alright, well, we'll leave you to it. Enjoy your, uh... house. Alright. So we need to talk something fierce. Um, Harry is behind the store, though, if you want to talk to her, too, and hear exactly what happened. Sure. Okay, and then I need to fill you in. I would not talk to anyone until I tell you exactly what what's happened because it's not great. Everyone's okay? Uh -huh. Physically. Physically, yes. right. Great, here we go. I have to find a doctor to take out my stitches. 
Okay, do you want me to send you for one? Yeah, go, go get no. her a doctor. While she okay. tells me what the fuck happened. Well, I want to hear what happened too. Oh, you don't know? No, I, I was coming back here to talk to her to the find out her What the fuck is side. that? I don't know, he got beat up. So? But, um... Well, I, like I told Peaches... I told the law that I didn't remember what happened, but I do remember what happened. Because they found me in the meat hole in the in the carcasses. I was there for a long time, apparently. You were in the meat hole? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Davey's still not well. When you left the other day, Wallaby, I, I chased after you. Do you remember? Ah, uh, yes. Vaguely. And then I came back and every scout left and I screamed at him because I was upset. And Peaches left and I was upset, so I screamed at her. I don't hate you, by the way. I was just, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, I don't hate you neither. Everybody I was upset. I remember what I said, yeah. Oh, that's nice anyway. to hear, Peaches. What? Oh, it's good. This is progress. Look, yeah, look, I, I, don't, I don't like Continue that she's the still story. hating on you, but I don't, I don't want you to die. Okay, sorry. I don't hate you. She's literally anyway, talking about stabbing her every fuck. Whatever. I went inside and I did the same to Dakota. I said, I hate you. I went upstairs and Edwin was coming out of the office. And I was going into the office. And I shoved him. And he fell over and I said, I hate you. And then I walked away from him and I went into the office. And I turned around and he had followed me. I thought he was going to beat me up and then he took out a knife. <sighs> I tried to defend myself, but... I didn't have a knife, and I didn't want to shoot him. So, the doctor said he stabbed me ten times. And I, I got a really bad infection, because he dumped me in the meat hole. And I was there under a bunch that's, of corpses for a long time he's before trying to they kill found her. me. <laughs> that's not a friendly stabbing, man. And that's it. That's all that happened. So you shoved him? Yeah, I shoved him. I Probably not the best time to shove him, I guess. Suppose I didn't know not. he'd stab me. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'd go, uh, go see if there's a doctor around. Hey. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's not much, but he'll pay for it. I don't think they're gonna charge me to take stitches well, out. Well, if they do, you've got money, all right? Maybe Wait, get on, yourself something nice to uh, wear or something, I don't know. Oh, uh, these are new clothes. Uh, of course they are. All right. Okay. Look after yourself. Jesus Christ, I man. I'll probably go back to the house too. Yeah, that's fine. Grimtails! Wait, we got two back-to-back -back tier 2 resubs. One at 24 months from Lonza, and one at 20. These two motherfucking beasts. Thank you so much for the resub, guys. Thank you for the tier 2. You guys are awesome. If you've got some glorious, put them in the chat. Mars, thank you for the 8 months. Hey, Moe, thank you for the 17. Pro Escape, thank you for the 9 months. Peace out for the 6. Jim, so, thank you things for the 9. So, things have gone a lot worse. Toby. Thank you, Toby, for the 17. Yeah. Yes. It gets so, wait, wait, wait. Is, is this going to get worse? Yes. That's why I need to talk to you. It's not great. I'm doing my best, Wildby, but we really need you. And I think everyone realizes that now. Oh, everyone realizes that now. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad. Eddie, who is that? It's the fucking law. You want to go say hi? Not particular, no. Okay, well, so Cunt. Eddie, uh... Cunt. <laughs> cunt. And I don't know who that one is at the back there, but he's probably a cunt too. Okay, okay. Great. Um... Pop of the morning to ya. It sure Howdy. sound you okay? Yeah, everything's fine, you know. She was just telling me, do you want to go there and say hello? I said no. 
And here you are coming over here and forcing a hollow out of me. Hello. I apologize, Wally. I'm going to have to leave you very briefly. I'm just seeing somebody I need to speak to. Very fucking early. God. <laughs> Don't be rude. Have a nice day, deputies. Yeah, have a lovely day. Stay safe and out of trouble, kid. Okay. God help me. So, Eddie kissed Dakota. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? Yes, Eddie kissed Dakota. And Dakota kissed him back. And apparently this happened a few times. Scout found out. Wait, wait, wait. No, fuck off with moving on from that. Hold on. Eddie kissed Dakota. Yes. Dakota kissed Eddie back. Yes. And this happened a few times. Yes. When? Uh, right after the oil tanker uh, that he brought to Flood. Oh, Jesus. And apparently some other times too. Not entirely. I, I don't really remember. You're fucking with me, Rod. No, I'm not fucking with you. Apparently they've not slept together, so that's something. But oh, well, well they did fuck sleep dude in the same bed, day. That's so, great. Thank yeah, God. But either way, Scout found out, uh, tried to blow up Braithwaite Manor, and oh, then okay. um, we did, uh, he got very drunk, and then um, we robbed a bank. Oh, Actually went really well. Yeah, slow, slow the fuck down. Slow, okay. just... Eddie kissed Dakota. Yes. Dakota found out. Scout found out. Dakota, Dakota, Dakota found out did when it. the lips Scout met. found yeah. out. Yes. Scout blew up the metal. Tried to, yes. Then he... You you robbed the bank. Well, I, I found him drunk, and he said, I'm robbing a bank. Do you want to come? This and I'm not going to say no to that. What? No, what do you mean you're going to say no to that? Because he was going to do it by himself. Well, then you know what you like do? Delilah. You fucking bonk him on the fucking head is what you do. I just want to make sure he was okay. It's not a this little a fun, but it actually how went really is well. This, how is this possible? I've been going for two days. I know, I know, right? It's impressive. Like, when you think... No, it's cause, not. Cause... It's it's the opposite of impressive. Well, it's so opposite much chaos. Opposite of impressive. Is he inside? Oh, uh, probably. He's been in and out. It looks like he's upstairs, maybe? No, the scout is upstairs. Oh, we need to... I think we just need to tell tell everyone what's going on and... and God. Listen, I'll talk to I'll talk to Scout. All right. Okay. Do you want company? There's a lot of horses. There's a lot of people here. It's not a great place to talk to Scout. If I'm being honest. La. <laughs> See these fucking pricks. Is that Scout? Don't even know me. She what really locks she. Uh... What happened to your head? <laughs> you know what? I be. You know what? Me and you have to have a little chit chat. All right. Hello, Adelaide. Hi. Wearing a coat, I sir. You said to wear the coat until they pay. Scout, come with me. Think, think on it, Scout. Think on uh -huh. it. Uh huh. What's your, what's your offering, you Roach family. Do not join the Roach family. Whatever you do. Your sister has a crush on me, apparently. Yeah, avoid. Avoid. What do you think? I'm fucking stupid? Alright, first of all. I heard what happened. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Are you, uh... Are you alright? Yeah. We did some jobs yesterday. We need to find the people to sell it to. Keep things going. Alright, alright. You tried to blow up the fucking manor? Are you fucking insane? I don't know what you're talking about. No, 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 no. You do not lie to me. You can lie to anybody else. You do not lie to me. Do you know how much fucking money is in that manor? There's probably fucking safes full of gold. Why the fuck would you blow that up?
No, 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 don't get pissed at her. I'm your ally here. I'm your friend. Right? Yeah, things happen. It things is what it is. Happen. No, no, no. These things don't just happen. This is a very slippery slope we are at here, Scout. Eddie thinks it was Rennie anyways, so it doesn't really fucking matter. No, that does matter. What? We gonna let Rennie take the fucking fall? Let him no. kill her? Throw down the fucking meat hole? Hmm? Lost him. I don't do this often. But I'm sorry for the things I've said in the past about you. And her. I... I, I apologize. Yeah. Appreciate it. We need to figure out a way how to make this better. I'm more focused on uh, making money. We got Cesari, who was supposed to uh, take care of the bonds we got yesterday, but Peaches got caught, so we couldn't. She had all the stuff on her. I didn't mean to play that, by the way. <laughs> uh, we need to meet with them. I pressed the wrong, I pressed and the wrong fucking song. Turn it off. We got some bars, some bonds. Which of these guys was looking for? Uh, fuck. This one, I think. Yeah, that's one. All right. That's good. You know, keep yourself occupied is a, a good idea. But we need to uh, make some big decisions here. Yeah. Let me know what I need to do. Hold on. I'm not listening. Edwin's just over there, and I don't want to be over there. All right. What are your intentions with him? With them? Nothing. Nothing. Focus is on the business. You know... We got money to make back. Really? I see. Yeah, I know what that's like. Just bury things down deep. Like that. I get it. So I'll tell you this. I get it. I understand it. But if you need to talk, I'm here, all right? Yeah. All right. I gotta fix this fucking mess. Good luck. Ah, oh, man, oh man, what a mess. Where the fuck is that prick? Ask your question, I want you to answer honestly. Alright. Were you fucking dropped? Like on a head as when yeah. I was a child? Yeah, you dropped several times. Um, probably, yeah. Why Maybe the beaten. fuck would you do what you've done? I am so fucking disappointed in you. Yeah, I know. No, it's not about you, no. 
You've taken that fella and you fucking crushed him. For what? Well, a little hanky panky with fucking Edwin Braithwaite of all people. Eddie. Yeah. So what was your goal here? I would like to say nothing. Oh, no, 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 no. I, we need to dig deeper into this. I need to understand. Help me understand. Now, Eddie, Eddie's a, a loose cannon. He's a, an enigma, as I said. But you, you are smarter than this. I need to understand. Why? I expect it from him, but not you. Yeah. I just... I don't really know. Did it make he... you feel better? For the time being, yeah. Oh, right, right. Your lips touching haze has made you feel all... woozy inside, huh? Swept you off your feet. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm happy for you. I'll be honest with you, Dakota. This might be one of the dumbest things I've seen. And I've seen a lot of dumb fucking things. If you weren't happy, you should have fixed that or fucking leave it. What you've done is completely and utterly unforgivable. Yeah. And it could cause the death of one, maybe two, or more. For what? Five seconds of pleasure. What you've done was selfish. And you should be ashamed of yourself. I am. Good. I'm disappointed in you. Yeah, I'm disappointed in myself. Ah, man, oh man. Um, what a fucking mess. All right, well, this can be interesting. Uh, Steve, I think you can get to sub, mate. Oh no, two get to subs. Thank you, brother. Number Vert Pog. Thank you so much, Stevo. And uh, Private Chill 69, big ones, bro. What a legend. 69 big months. <laughs> uh, let's go. We need gun oil, but we're going to go with 51 of those. And then we'll get some, uh, we'll get five gun oil. Yep. I think, uh, I think my gun's pretty clean, but let's... Eh, could use a little, yeah. a little rub. Ryle! Think of the three months, my dude! Uh, he's, he's not... Wallaby's not, like... He, I mean, he's pissed. He's pissed. He doesn't hate her, obviously. He's just very disappointed in her. It's it, it's a reckless thing that he totally expects from from Eddie, but Dakota, like, <sighs> right off. Did she say it was right after the oil tanker? Huh. 
Ah, <sighs> gee, so it's like as soon as shit went, went bad, she just jumped on the Eddie train, eh? Oh boy, oh boy. All right, well, we'll see how this goes. Oh, howdy. Oh. Um, hey, how did that talk with Scout go? Well, he's uh, completely shut off, which is understandable. Yes. He just needs space. He'll talk in time, just give him that space. I think yeah. he needs something to do, so I'm gonna think something for him to do. Well, um, he is gonna sell off the gold and take care of that. I need to give it to him. Um, oh, but... we can do that together. Okay, well, I, I do think that Scout, right now, he just wants to work and do, yeah, you uh, know. That's understandable. Yeah. Right, um, me, Eddie's uh... in there, by the way. Perfect. Oh, how much do you sell ammo for? Eddie? Hi. Did you say? Yeah. Eddie. That's it. it it's just the going right. The, uh, the we have a little right. chat, Manuel. Oh, another one of these secret sad bars. Oh, I can do it here if you like. Hundred dollars, unless you were buying them bulk, I suppose. Oh, we could take a step by set, I guess. Something. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Forty dollars. Oh. Excuse me. Interesting. I'm sorry, did I stutter? Did this fuck just am I doing the, the fuck are you voice. doing? JK, love your RP, man. Very surreal well, interacting with you all the other day as Jesse day and Withers. A half and already fucking Dakota. Hmm? I don't want to hear it. Because oh, no, you got no, no, no say no, no, in the no, no, matter. No, you need to fucking hear it. No, no, no. no, no, no well, I'm not going to hear it from you. Been, you have been crying for years about not getting your shot without leading and all this fucking shit. Get your time You're in delusional. the fucking throne. And what is it? You're the first thing you do delusional. is call over the fucking nearest girl to her to jump on your lap. Cry. You've no right to speak me this way. And you have no right to you fuck are another way out of line. fucking girl. All right, first of all, yeah, that hasn't been established. We oh, didn't no, even go it's, that it's, far. It's, it's been established. You might as well have fucked up. Fuck you, man. I'm not even gonna listen to this. Well, you gotta run away. You got damn right. Cause that's what you did, right? You went and got drunk. That's right, I did. And I left it to you. And what have you done? Hmm? What have you done? You stabbed Harry. You threw in the meat hole. You got between Dakota and Scout. What else have you done, Eddie? Anything else? Yeah. Right off, then. Should be ashamed of yourself, Eddie. Kind of want to chase him. going anywhere bro he could be going literally anywhere could be slaughterhouse clubhouse eh, possibility but I don't think so
I'm gonna check the slaughterhouse, but. <clears throat> Probably went to Saint Denis. Yeah. Saint Denis. Guess would be the manor. Manor, yeah, but he was heading. Uh, unless he took a fucking sharp right, he could have done that. Telegram, he's not there. I'm gonna go back to the manor probably. It just didn't seem like he was going that direction, but he could have also been trying to throw me off. No, he's not here. Let's go past the Bastille and we'll, we'll spin around and go manor. <sighs> the drama, man, the drama. I mean, Wallaby well, might have been a little harsh, maybe. But fuck me, dude. Like, it's such a, it's such a basic, like... It's not like, hey, you know, he, he made a couple of mistakes here and there that, you know, someone that's taking over for the first time, you know, there's, there's growing pains and shit, right? Like, this was a very deliberate, he, he must have known what this would do. <clears throat> Mr. Wolf, thank you for the $40. Did this just... Wait, did this just to hear Baz's voice? Oh, jokes. Love you, RP, man. Very surreal uh, interacting with y'all uh, the other day as Jesse Rivers. Oh, shit, man. Hell yeah. If I, if I find him, I might tone it back a little bit. But I feel, I feel like the initial, initial, like, reaction would be quite forward. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? I think the disconnect is, no, the disconnect is he still thinks he's in charge and he still thinks you left the group. I mean, well, technically he's right still, but that's, I mean, I can, I can still talk to him. Did you hear Snoop Dogg watches you on joining, and he's joining bot? Listen, that's complete fucking bullshit. I can't believe anyone even believed that. You really think Snoop Dogg who is literally high, 24-7, remembers Baz and Sheriff Carter from a year ago. Are you insane? It's possible? Oh, come on, come on, guys. Come on, guys. <laughs> I could, dude, when, when I saw people actually buying into I couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. S someone trolled you guys so fucking hard. Hell, even if there was a clip of it, I'd half, I, I still wouldn't even believe it, really. <laughs> I just, just think it's AI. <laughs> that, that's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard, and people bought into that shit. Yeah, Snoop's gonna pl fucking play Wild RP. I remember when he played, uh, what's that game again? He was playing a Battle Royale. Okay, what was it again? And he wasn't even fucking playing. Like, he was smoking weed with both hands. While someone else was playing for him. He was pretending that he was playing. <laughs> he was like using both hands as he's killing people. Pretending that he's playing the fucking game. You think he's going to play fucking role play? Give me a break. Is that his horse? No, it's not. There is a horse. That is his horse. All right, let's get this fucking thing over with. This could get, this could go a whole lot of different ways. I don't think you'll hurt Wallaby. You never know with this guy, man. You really don't. If he does, if he does, 
be pretty huge. Your gun ready? No, no, no. Wallaby wouldn't draw his gun on Eddie. Ah. <laughs> Snoop Dogg's jotting wild RP. Uh, let's see. He's in his bedroom. Eddie. Classic every spot where he fucking stabs everybody. Fantastic. Alright. Let's go down there. The murder gazebo. found me. Yeah, let's go down. Let's have a chat. How'd you know? I know you, Eddie. Plus, this is my third, my third place to check. <laughs> yes, I know that, though. Truth here, maybe we'll see. All right, look. Maybe I went a little hard at you, though. That's what brothers do, right? No. 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 You know you're fucked up, right? You at least know that much. <coughs> yep. Shaggy! Thanks for ten dollars, man. That's so loud. Oh no. It's oh. been too many years of free entertainment, so I felt compelled to give something and Whole say thanks. Things on fire. I still remember that one in a million bow shot. Thank you, dude. Yes, yeah, a long time ago. Now look. I walked out. I have my reasons. I ain't gonna sit here and Watch the whole thing burn. You know that, right? I can't. Who says it's burning? I do. Well, maybe that's just one man's opinion. One man's opinion. Eddie. You stabbed Harry, tossed her in a meat hole, 
You stabbed a fella with a fucking fork. He's dead, dying in the goddamn bar. Your fucking scout's girlfriend. And that's only what I know. I've been gone for what, three days? That's right. That's right. Three days. Three, three days. days and you don't know shit. Well, enlighten me then. Those actions were done for the sake of the bar. Even the, Scout, even the, the Dakota thing. Let me get to it. <laughs> the Dakota thing is not even a thing. We established, we understood <laughs> that it was like a fling, a passing thing. A passing She's been thing. trying to break up for him for, mo for months. <laughs> and then they're gonna blame all the relation problems on me? No, I don't think so. And I can't relieve some stress once in a while? You know, there's other ways to relieve stress that doesn't involve Dakota, right? Well, let's not get into that, shall no, we? No, 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 we have to get into that. Well, you're a hypocrite. Why is that? Well, what is it? Is it better that they broke up first? Yes. Yes, do I have? Well, you don't know them like I know them. <laughs> is that what? Was that a serious close. question? <laughs> I got pretty close. Tell him, tell him what? You're gonna compare I'm bit. Speaking on to it. I, my mind's blown. You're actually gonna compare the two, Goosey. Wow. You don't know what happened. It's us. We what got happened? close. All right. Okay, so sleeping with someone that's with someone, and then sleeping with someone that has been broken up for really realistically in character it was years a, the exact same fucking happened. thing yeah all right listen i'm not saying i'm wrong that's i apologize i hope you're joking that's insane you made it right and he well he's being investigated on what he did what on fire I don't think so. For Christ's sake. Who the fuck is that coming over here? This is fucking Delaney guy. I don't know why he keeps bothering me. <sighs> yeah. I saw a Scout. His eyes are empty. He's a broken man. And I did that too? Yes. You and her. You sacrifice that man and his soul for what? Your stress relief. You're not s seriously sitting there blaming me for, for their relationship problem. Yeah, I am. You stepped up to the plate you wanted to lead, right? Well, leading 101. Everything, everything is your fault. thing in this world called accountability. I believe it still exists. And I do not believe that the head of the Hydra takes all the blame. What do you believe then? I believe that people need to be grown-ups and have accountability. you're not taking accountability for what you did. I am. And I dealt with him. What do you mean? I told him about it. I couldn't handle it. It didn't <laughs> feel right. Wow. You know what? And here I thought that 
you were just fucking around for the shits and giggles, but no, you, it was because you didn't feel right about fucking him over. Hell, I don't think if I tried to start this many fires, I could accomplish it. You are quite talented, Eddie. Look. The main focus is keeping the group together, yes? You know how hard that's going to be after this. Not just Scout and Dakota, but everyone around that. This has the potential to cause so many problems. So how do we fix it? I think before we can even enter into any of those uh, conversations, you need to take some accountability. Sure. What would you like me to take accountability for? Snap it, snap it, Eddie. Oh, he already has. I've taken a few shots. That a lot of people wouldn't get away with. Gotta skirt that line, though. What's he, what's he doing? getting the list out <laughs> ah you know you know yeah I think you're right no 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 you're not doing that put your fucking foot think. down no 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 put your fucking foot Let down me think I'm trying to express myself here you give me that sure I don't think you're right. You know, it's, it's been hard. Maybe you're right. Maybe it all falls on your shoulders. Maybe I was too selfish to see that. And I've caused quite the mess. Started fires. What I see it as that, uh, well, that, you know, I, I can't continue, you know. That ain't right. I can't do that to you know, those people. You know, and I, I tell you one thing, that's not gonna keep, keep them together. You know? Is he talking about leaving? So... You don't gotta worry. All 
All right, you know, you don't got to put out my fire or clean up any of my messes. No, you don't got to. I think it's about time we start taking some accountability, you know, for our actions. Being grown men. Hmm? And uh, you need to get a hold of these people. Yeah, they need you. First of all, no, they need us. We have to work together. That's how we've always done it. Let me make it, if you have, if, well, from what you're saying these past couple of days, it's clear they don't need me. I don't sugarcoat anything. Oh, I'll try sugarcoat to twist this. It. I'll sugarcoat this. Yeah, you're fucked up. You're fucked up majorly. But you do good as well. There are things that you're very good at. I never said you were useless. I never said you shouldn't be here. But we need to make this right. Because if we don't, the whole fucking thing's dead. So, you're right. About the accountability. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. I lied to you. I lied to all of y'all. we all got pinched they put me in the box I didn't see nor hear anybody no sheriff came to me no sheriff tried to cut a deal in fact I didn't see anybody until maybe halfway through my sentence and one day I got pulled out and there they were. Hurst, Tabitha Thorn, Rabbit, and Flood. They wanted to speak to me. They pulled me aside. Flood wanted to let me know that he had cut a deal with the law to save my life. They were talking about killing me. He got scared. He offered up $47,000 stolen back to the law to keep me alive. By the time I found out the money was already gone. So, I stood on that for a little while in Sisica. And when I got out, I had to make a decision what I was going to do, because I know how you be. I know that anger in you. So I tried to push for jobs, try to make some money, get the focus off what we had. Focus more on what we could be. But eventually push came to shove and I had to be honest that the money was gone. But I didn't want him hurt. Although going behind our back and doing that was wrong. I knew his heart was in the right place, so I covered for him. 
put the blame on me. I can take people hating me. But, when push came to shove in that second meeting, even through all the anger, you stood up and said that we're supposed to stick together no matter what. You and Rennie. I couldn't sit there any longer and lie to you. Not after that. So I left. I couldn't bear you all being loyal to me when I'm lying. You're supposed to hate me. You're supposed to outcast me. But you didn't. Now, since then I've spoken a flood. Turns out, he has a lot of money saved up. Some jobs he did out in Mexico way years and years ago. He's handing that to us. Somewhere around $40,000 to make up for what he gave to the law. So, accountability and all. There it is. That's the truth. And the reason I lied is because I knew that if you had found out he did it, you would have killed him. Hell, you wanted to kill him anyway. I would never walk out on you willingly, Eddie. Ever. I hated every fucking second of it. Bravo, quite the story you knitted there. Yeah. You know, I talked to him the other day, saw him in town. A little conversation with him about it. Wasn't too pleased. I didn't know this. You know what? I think you're right. I was for the best that you didn't tell me. You can't trust stuff like that with me. Eddie. Five minutes after putting the blame on myself, you got an oil tanker and put it in the front of his fucking store. Imagine if you knew that it was only him. Hmm? You know, it's not all that uncommon. I'd say it was pretty reasonable. Reasonable. Yeah. Lost We've his business, kill house. him and his wife. How is that reasonable? Have you seen the front of my house? I have. Hmm. Accountability, right? You see, that actually got blown up. You <laughs> see some of the drapes and some of the linens in there and some of the carpets and even the floorboards have been blown to smithereens. My cousin, Emma, was petrified. I don't think she stepped foot in the place and she's here, out there now with my money. Buying more accoutrements and <laughs> lemons for the house to repair the damage. You see, whoever did that <clears throat> had followed through more than me. I didn't even blow it up. You would have. And the crazy thing is, 
I even think it was somebody in our gang. I don't know if I'm losing my mind or it just has been a stressful few days. But it's just funny, you know. One rule for one, another for another. Come on, man. How long have we been doing this? Can't you see that these sort of things exhaust me now? They exhaust me too, Eddie. You try running this fucking operation for as long as I have. A miracle I'm still fucking sane. Well, he's half sane. You should know, even your short time on top, that sometimes you have to make decisions that people aren't gonna like. Doesn't mean you like yeah, it. Yeah, but the problem is if I make decisions... There's a difference between me and you. You see, you, they tolerate a lot. I tolerate it a lot. With me... Oh boy, they'll have something to say, all right. Why won't they, right? I give them a good reason to. What's your goal? What do you want from this group? From this group? You know what? I don't even know anymore. It used to be money. Now I don't know. I got family coming. Got an uncle gonna be arriving soon. An auntie. Cousins. They come and visit. I'm gonna have to spruce the place up. I'm gonna have to get a catering business and whatnot. I got a lot on my agenda. I got a lot to think about. What about the gang? You know, I think it'd be pretty appropriate if you were to take the reins again. You seem perfectly situated for that. And what about you? Me. I'll survive. Without us. Yeah. Oh, we I think I can. You'll oh. be dead in a week. Howdy. Hmm? Oh, come on. No, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. You wouldn't even give me that long. Two days, Tom. Oh, I love you like a fucking brother, right? You know, I don't know if that's true anymore. Really? Why is that? Yeah, brothers don't normally treat brothers this way. How have I treated you, Eddie? Well, I'll tell you a few hard truths. Is that right? Is that what it is? Don't like what I have to say. I've always had your fucking back. No matter what. Even when you're in the fucking wrong, I've had your back. So do tell. 
how I've treated you so poorly. I think I can confidently say if you don't see it, then I think that's one of the problems. Listen, full warning? <clears throat> full warning? It'll happen again. No. Why don't you good. just stop would... fucking talking in riddles and just let it all out? Right! I wish I could sit here and, and tell you what I want to hear from you so you can say whatever it is so we can fix it and we can get back to normal right? so we can build up the gang again so that's right I want you to stop being lucky. fucking cryptic and I want to work together to fix this yes yeah yeah go fuck yourself how's that for an answer you do all this set up the pins Wait for me to knock them down, and then you can be the hero to pick them all back up again? What about that? It is. Maybe for you. It's how I got individuals over there, blowing up my fucking house, keeping secrets from me, and they're the people that I am supposedly, supposedly uh, to uh, trust the most. Eddie, you've done your fair share too. Ask yourself, why would someone want to blow your fucking house up? People don't just do that on a whim. So why? Hmm? What have you done? Why. I know why. Why? But it's acceptable, right? Because that's what you're saying. It's acceptable no, when others... No, I didn't others, say that. But no, 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 not Eddie. And how other way can I ever interpret that? You really think I'm dumb? <laughs> like I just do things. Like I really don't think ahead. I think that you're a smart fellow that does dumb things. And I think for the longest time, I didn't want to believe that my brother thought that way about me. Nah. Can't be like that. Sure, you might have said it. I might have took the uh, talks and the sidebars and the lectures, and I listened. But I wanted to kind of believe that, nah, he doesn't really believe it because, you know, he knows me. But then I looked at him. In those past couple of days, right before you left, there's no mistake. brother, a comrade in arms, but a burden and a nonsense. I don't know what I've done to make you feel this way, but the fact that you think that I don't care about you fucking hurts. I've done so much. We both have. And we've been there for one another for a long, long time. Maybe I'm more critical of you. Maybe. Because I fucking care. I want you to be safe. I want you to do good. I want us both to thrive out here. Hell, we run the best bank robbing gang the crossing scene. Together. Of course I care about you. I don't... I am not... 
dumb. I see. You don't think I noticed that when you shoot people, when you've murdered, when you shot a guy in the dick in front of me. I saw that. You did it for us. You did it so we could get out. You don't think I don't see that you don't care? You don't respect me. And I really wanted to believe that that wasn't true. No, he cares about me. I see that. So he must respect me. He has it for me. But it's true. And even now, you're hypocritical and you won't even admit it. Admit that you did see it. Uh, see, most of us as burdens. Some of us as fuck-ups and cats to scramble. Some of us have those attributes. And we deserve less respect. Because I can clearly see I'm not, I'm no longer the number two. That has been clear for quite a amount of weeks now anyway. Who do you think's number two? Who do you think? Peaches, is that what you saying? Again, things that you've conjured up in your own fucking mind. I see things. You right. are yeah, number yeah, two, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Now you're lying to me. I'm not fucking lying. I didn't know we were bringing lying to this table. <laughs> Just because you think it's a lie doesn't mean it is. I know what I see. And you know what? I can accept it. But I have a right to choose not to be a part of it. Daddy. I thought maybe. I thought maybe. And the jellyfish job it went down good. I thought maybe. No. Didn't change a fuck. <laughs> but that fits, right? That fits for you. Because it all lands on your shoulders. You don't need anybody else making decisions. You don't believe in anybody smart enough to make decisions. So it's easy for you to say it all falls on your shoulder. Simply not true, Eddie. It's been true for years. Why do you think I accepted it for years? You remember Scout, Coda, the Fresh, when they were fresh. I said, what you guys got to do is shut up. And see that man right there in that hat? You follow his order. Who do you think taught them how to do that? You get them to fall in line. Have I not kept everyone safe? Have I not kept the money coming in? That's not the issue. Eddie, I have given you responsibilities that require trust and respect. You know this. Every fucking gem that we make goes to you. I don't give that to Alvin. Or Pete. Or even Peaches. I give that to you. Because I trust you. And I gotta sit here and listen to you. Tell me I don't. Tell me I don't fucking respect you. Here's something for you. I don't do bank jobs that are gonna get me fucking killed if I don't respect and trust everyone around me. Period. So you got some I've family right. coming in. You wanna, you wanna leave? Fine. If that's what you want, spread your wings. Find whatever out there that you wanna find that you feel like you're missing. See, see that's right there. You're fucked up. You know that you. You're fucked up. You're saying the exact same things you said to LJ. Yeah, where's her? 
He fucked off. Yeah, grass is always Flying greener, with the right? Birds. Yeah, the grass is always greener on the other side. You're pushing me away. You're pushing I yourself don't go away. Out there You're and pushing and yourself start away. With fucking, don't put this on uh, me. You really don't hear me. And you don't hear me. I've never held you down. You could have stood up whenever you fucking wanted. Shut up and listen to orders, huh? What's your fucking decision? I've never told you to shut up and listen. You did that. Because you want to know who the last person who stood up was him. He started his own thing. So I saw it. I saw what my future held. Right, 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 right. Future with you, or future like him. Ah, <laughs> oh, this picture you're painting. Quite something, Eddie. Quite something. Oh yeah, how's it looking so far? That's fine. Cause you know what, man? You have been the better artist than me. I can tell you that. Have I now? Yeah. So if I'm painting a picture, I can't wait to see your masterpiece. I'm disappointed. After all these years, everything we've done together, I'm sorry you feel that way, Eddie. I think I've done all I can. You don't want to see it. That's fine. See what? what you have and what you could have what do you that's want the thing with what do you, you. Want that's to hear? the thing with you and i'll be honest with you you want to hear please no, no, help no, no, me no, 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 please no, no, come no, back no 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 you know what i don't want your fucking help if your heart is in it then please fuck right off i'll fix it myself you're cruel you no, know I'm that. not cruel. Sometimes you can be real you, cruel. You have a problem. And that problem is, no matter how much you get, whether it's love, whether it's respect, whether it's money, whatever the fuck, it's never enough. Ever. You need more. You hunger. And maybe it's a Braithwaite thing. Maybe that's why this manor was never good enough for you either. It's never enough. I've given you love, I've given you respect. I've given you my forgiveness many times over. You have fucked up so many times. But I've always had your back. Hell, I took a beating in fucking Sisica. Because I backed you up when I knew you were wrong. But it's never enough. For you, you're always gonna see me as selfish and cold. Well, I can be that way if you want me to. You don't want to be my brother no more, that's fine. Go to your real family. They've always had your back, right? Outcast, sent away, 
a fucking embarrassment. That's right. A bastard. That's the first thing I heard when I met you. This is Edwin. Emmett's bastard. So run to them. Your uncle, your cousin, your aunt, your niece. I don't give a fuck. I've been here for you. But as I said, grass is always greener on the other side. Right, Eddie? LJ thought the same thing. Now he hides under trees in a fucking forest. Hair down to his ass. With nothing. I'll show you cold. Good luck to you. Dude, I hate, I, uh. <sighs> Thing is, Bravo, brother. Thing is, guys, is that Eddie is one of my favorite characters. He's been with us for, been with us for so fucking long. That sucked. But in it, but story wise, it makes sense to go down this route. I don't know where it's gonna lead, but that fucking sucked. What Wallaby is a character that he he cares so fucking much. He doesn't always show it, but he does. But to Eddie specifically, he's tried... He's tried to treat him well. And sure, he says some shit. But that's like what brothers do. Ooh, tense. Ooh, tense. But ultimately, at the end of the day, Wallaby would do absolutely everything for him. Or anything for him. And Eddie's always, always made out that Wallaby hasn't done that. Or, you know... I don't know. It, it's a complicated thing because both sides have like their perspectives of it, and that's why it's uh, it's so tense because both of them adamantly think that they're right, and I think the truth is somewhere in the middle. I think Wallaby trusts trusts Eddie and he loves Eddie, but at the same time he does a very poor job of like showing that at times for sure, which Eddie picks up as being disrespectful. And, uh, I mean, Eddie's crying for help and Wallaby doesn't want to accept that maybe he doesn't show it well enough. You know what I mean? So it's like, the truth is somewhere in the middle there. <sighs> Wallaby cares so much, yet family always lets you down and everyone will stab you in the back. Well... This is just another case in point, isn't it? He sees him as a brother, and at the end of the day, he's gone. So, same thing. And for and just for that quote, family always lets you down, that's that's a line that reflects him because he let his brother down. LJ was family. I hope that was I I, I I don't know if Smokey's streaming, but if he is, I hope that uh, he enjoyed that scene. You guys could give him some love for me. That was a that was a hard one. I I, I didn't I, I don't enjoy them breaking up as friends, man, because I think it's one of the 
the more enjoyable uh, relationships to RP out. Give me a second. I just had to open my door. It's getting rather hot in here. You have a feeling they come back together? I mean, who knows? Time will tell, right? Here come the sweats. Oh, God, no. Let's get the crew together. I think they're probably going to be at the saloon. Interview. Pleased that you have interest in meeting. Will you be available at 8.30 Eastern? 8.30 Eastern. Eight th that's like four hours, right? This evening, I'd be happy to discuss your compensation. Just telegram me and let me know. This will work for you. 8.30 Eastern. How, how, how far away is that? Four hours? Ah, oh, jeez. Can, can, can we go a little sooner? Hi. I will be around most of the day if you want to do it sooner that could work too okay and the slaughterhouse okay oh shit Amazing. when was that yeah. oh howdy there you are i need you, you to right? grab yeah i need you to grab everybody okay they're all at the slaughterhouse all right perfect hello alos um howdy it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Can Alice then? Uh, not for this one, no. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to bed soon anyway, Alice. Um, That's all right. I might be around more tomorrow. We'll see. My, my schedule's been real weird recently. Okay. Welcome back to our uh, life on the outside. Thanks. Do you need my horse? Uh, no. I'll get Max. Okay, let me bring you by the... I'll see you at the slaughterhouse. You good? I hope everyone's there. Though I know I no, no though I know that Pete's probably not gonna be around. But I need everyone there if, if possible, Rennie. All of them. Give me one second. How did that go? I will talk about it. Ah, uh, who exactly is at the slaughterhouse? Adelaide, Alvin, Scout, Coda. No ready. No ready? I, I don't remember if I telegrammed her. I might have. Alright. Have you seen Renny around? Have you heard from her? I haven't seen her for a little bit. She was on a job yesterday, apparently. One of them. Because I guess we did two jobs at the same time, pretty much. Well, you did a second job? Well, so they did Alvin Squid. Oh, the Alvin job. Right, right. How'd that go? Yeah. Um, I guess he didn't have a backup plan if they didn't lose him, and they ended up shooting, and some people got caught, some people got away, and then some people turned themselves in. I don't know. Honestly, our plan, Scout, Scout's plan that we did, we did not plan whatsoever, and it went pretty well. Maybe the, maybe having no plan is a plan. I'm fine. Okay. Ugh. 
fucking glitch with the sound, man. Hey, um... Never mind, never what? mind. No, nothing, Whatever. Nothing. Just... Okay. doctor for a while I had a, a infection I was in the meat hole for a while with all the rotten animals <gasps> I'm I'm all right I'm so sorry he did that to you don't worry I'm gonna get him back mm. There's no sense in doing that, Adelaide. Are you sure? Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, all right. If you say so. All right. Everyone. Excuse me. Yes? Do you know what happened to Harry? I do. Now back the fuck up. Oh. I spoke with Eddie from today for now he is no longer with us good riddance but Adelaide fuck off he stabbed Harry what do you mean fuck off Adelaide not now Now I know there's been some division amongst us. Differences in philosophy. You think? <laughs> One more fucking time, and I swear to God, I'm gonna I'm make sorry. what happened to Harry look like a fucking holiday. <gasps> Sit the fuck down. Oh. Now. There's people that didn't like how I run things. There are people that liked how I ran things. Eddie stepped in for a little bit, took over. However, some problems arose, as expected. Now, I'm not going to get into full detail now, but the money that we lost has been compensated we pretty much have back everything we lost oh my y'all hear that wow. all right get her the fuck out of here no I adelaide adelaide I you had your fucking chance no, get I out of the office but but i was saying that was great no you know I'm too much anyway I, I won't say a word please let me stay please Adelaide, you already told the Tommy about the money we lost. Of course, he's my husband. What oh, would I not lovely. tell him? Lovely. What? So what you're going to tell him everything? He's my husband. Step out of the office now. He's my husband, Wallaby. Why would I not tell him everything? Did you tell him about your little strip night here in the fucking orgy house? No. No, I didn't, no, I didn't think so. You want me to tell him uh, for you? 
No. And step the fuck out of the office. <laughs> you never let me stay. No, I yeah, do. Yeah, because you keep telling your husband shit. <laughs> Why would I not tell my husband shit? Huh? Because this is our own private business. If you're going to tell your husband shit, then you can't hear it. Well, I trust my husband not to run his mouth, which he doesn't do. Uh-huh. I'm sure you tell Wallaby everything, so Where stop judging game? me. Where Good for you, oh, but if you were a separate game, I'm sure you'd tell me if it were married to him. I'm, I'm sorry for judging you, but please step out. Just Fine. Y'all keep your little secrets. We will. We, we'll talk to you in a bit, okay, Adelaide? <laughs> yeah, you don't go too far. I need my golden goose in about 20 minutes. <laughs> you can shove the golden goose up your butt. Do you mean that? No, she doesn't mean it. Don't, don't, don't no, shove her up your butt. That's no, what I thought. Sorry. Sit down in a fucking corner somewhere. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. As I was saying, the money has been returned. Not in full, but most of it. <laughs> Rogue bootlegger, you're a fucking beast, man. Thank you so much. Now. As Eddie has stepped down, I will take leadership back. Again, there are people that didn't like how I did things. Looking at you, Alvin. So, I want it to be known, and this goes for everybody, so when you see Rennie, you can tell her too. If you don't like how I do things, there's a door. No hard feelings. I'm sure Eddie will take you under his wing. But if you stay, you stay. Don't have to make a decision now. Food for thought. If we are what going if to. I don't? Go ahead. If we are going to sail this ship together, it needs to sail straight. Which means we all have to be up to pace, up to beat, on the same page. That is the only way that this thing works smoothly. Get shit back on track. What are we gonna say, Scout? If we have issues with something, I feel like it should be made clear that we can talk about them, and it's not gonna be a what I say goes, and I don't care about what you have to say. I've never done that. And yes, I know. if Just anyone has sure. problems, you come to me. You can come to me privately, or you can address it at a fucking meeting. I don't care. Yeah, you have. Uh, could you, give me, could you give me a time when? Just so I know. I don't think I have. I think most people just don't say anything. They just bottle it up. What's that? With us. Can you oh, tell he us isn't why? with us because he feels like he's disrespected. That he isn't trusted. I tried to smooth things over with him, but you know how he be. He set in his ways. He showed interest in uh, focusing more on himself and his family over the matter. He's also very upset about the matter being blown up. So, well, those are the reasonings. Here's what I think we should do. I think we continue at the Rose Parlor House. Get that thing continue to run. In the meantime, I'm gonna put some jobs together. 
for all of you. Get things running, get some guns, some money. Then when we're ready, when I feel like the group is back on track, we'll do something big. But for now, small steps. Any questions? For now, let's get back over to the, uh, the saloon. We're gonna show some presence there. I'll work out the little details. Can you speak with you a bit, Wolby? Of course. We can give you some privacy. Yeah, that will make your way over there. I'll be there shortly. Take Adelaide with you. Okay. He just sits in the fucking corner and listens. Man, if she ever flipped to the law, they, they'd have soon. so much info. But I kind of like that risk. Like before the jellyfish plan, you definitely told them it. And then it was your choice and you take responsibility for the thousands. Yeah. What's wrong with that? <laughs> what, what is, what, what's wrong with saying that? If the plan fails, it's, it's on the person that made the plan. Wallaby takes full responsibility of his plans. And he didn't shut it down. He let it happen. I think I understand. You... Understand what? Why? Why you hold yourself the way you do? Understand that it's a lot to control things. Understand there's understand that you had to go through a bunch to get to where you are. I think when we talked last about me wanting to take more initiative and step up. I guess in some ways I was looking for more response to Eddie Gaping, more vocal about just how much we can bring in the I've been noticed. But it, I also see the downside. And my mind is very confused right now. Oh. But you were right about my plan. I needed a, a backup. In case I didn't lose the law. I just want you to know that this group does mean a lot to me. You guys all mean a lot to me. And I just don't think I've had that opportunity to... ...connect with you. That I have had with Eddie. Oh. I have a lot on my plate, Alvin. Not many people get one-on-one -on -one time with me. In fact, I don't have much time to do that, but... 
when it comes to planning, when it comes to stepping up, I encourage everyone to do that if they feel they're ready to do so. As for your plan, mistakes happen. I've done plans that haven't worked out too. It is what it is. You take what you can to learn from it and you adapt that into your next plan. The law dealing with us with bank robberies you should always have a contingency plan for violence because ultimately that's where it's going to lead i'd rather shoot first and last however making a plan is not easy or simple you deserve credit for that not many people have the guts or the balls to do what you did a lot of people rather just be a safe cracker not think about it just follow the pack i'm not eddie i will not sugarcoat things i'll tell you exactly what you need to hear not what you want to hear i do understand that all right good i want to be on the same page with you if i can ask you last time i was here there was dakota scout and tommy dean this is after a meeting you walked out. I thought you were... I don't know why you left, but... It's a complicated situation, Alvin, that I will explain to you when Rennie and Peter are about, all right? Great. For now, let's keep things simple. Run the saloon. Bring some money in. You might do a little job here and there today, I don't know. But let's Great. keep uh, things simple, baby steps for now, until we have things running smooth again. What are we doing with money from um, the job we did? Oh, the job you did. Do you have much of it? Like, I cracked five safes. Oh, mm. very good. Where's the money? Where's the R? Uh, the bonds and the gold. Um, I have the gold, but we still have to split it with the two people that helped. No, oh, we'll, we'll we'll pay them cash. Don't worry about that. Ah, uh, take the gold and the bonds. Go to Scout. I think he has a few as well. Uh, get what you've got. Put them in boxes, and then let me know, and we'll uh we'll go sell them together. All right. All right. All right. Good job, Alvin. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to talk to Rennie here. All right. How are you doing? Oh, God damn it. I'm fine. I know what's going on. You've been drinking again. Uh, you know, just, just a little bit. It's nothing. I just, you know, I just got out of, just again, you know, like not too long ago. So yeah, I hit the yeah, bar. yeah, yeah. I definitely understood everything you just said. Why are you drinking? Because I feel like it. No, I understand that, but there's always a reason. Stop. A reason. I just wanted to. I don't do it too often, you know. Come on now, sippy sippy. No, 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 no. Yes. I'm no. fucking fine. Get that weird, healthy shit Throw away from the me. Water in her face. Oh, you Let don't me. Want, you, you don't want to drink, huh? Well, here you go. Splash. <laughs> 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 I 
So you made me do. <laughs> What's nice going on? You too. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's well, you can see me. That's surprising. Yes, I like three of you right now. But yeah, well, it's I'm fine, the, I'm it's the fine. one in the middle. Right, middle. <laughs> So what's going on? <clears throat> well, we'll get to that. What's going on with you? Ah, <laughs> uh, not much. You know, not much. Just trying to just get these jobs done. Is that uh, this is most important? No. Is to be there for each other and making sure those job is done. Regardless means necessary. Right, or whatever right. they say. Yeah. 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 I don't want to interrupt, but um I just wanted to let you know that down in in the pig room where all the pigs are hanging up. Uh I don't know how loud you're talking, but I can hear everything that you say down there. Alright, thank you. Okay, as just long letting as, you know. That's uh, fine. As long as no one else is down there, it's okay. Okay. If you see any strangers, you let me know. Okay, I'm I'm staying in that room, so right. I don't bother anybody. Yeah, yeah. Lay down on the couch. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I... <laughs> I heard what happened to her. It's kind of messed up. The whole thing is a fucking mess, but I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to pick up the pieces and put it back together again. It's very difficult. Eddie is you out. Wanna, you want to... You want What? Eddie's out. For of now. Of course he is. For now. How long he'll be out? I don't know. But he needs time. He needs time by himself. So let him. By all means, I don't really care. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I know you, Renny. See, you No. You have an advantage over so many people because people don't no, I'm really, really get sick. you. I'm getting really sick and tired of people saying that they know me when they don't. Really? I'm really tired of it. I've seen you. You put this fucking mask on like I do, all right? I know what's under there. I've seen it many times. I know you care. Maybe you care too much. Maybe that's what you fucking detest the most. You pushing on today? Yeah. I attempted to burn down Eddie's house. To... Sorry, what? Yeah. Say that again. I didn't hear you. I, I said I attempted to burn down the, the manor. Now, why would you go and do something like that? I did that. And then, to be completely honest with you, I think I was going to end up finishing the job and possibly shoot Kelder in her fucking face. All right, well, you're, you're, <laughs> you're not doing that. That's a no. That's a no. No, you were not. Oh, you were not doing God. anything. Yeah. I want to make everything. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. That I mean. That I I mean to my fucking core, Wallaby. Now, why would you want to do that? I'm 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 so fucking sick of, of being there for people and them just completely shitting on me and, ab and it abandoning me and make me look like a fucking fool i'm sick of it wallaby i'm tired of it and i i'm done i'm fucking done i i i just i can't i don't even most of the days i don't even know what i fucking want what i'm fucking i feel like i'm not even here i feel like my body is just here and i'm looking at her and she just looks she just looks gray and cold and just down in the fucking dump she just looks like a sad fucking case that deserves to be six feet under and she's just here 
She's just fucking it tastes like some kind of fucking vegetable and i'm, I'm sick and i feel like i'm in my own fucking asylum i if i i just two more i if i take it for two more i'm gonna snap like a fucking twig you know i i'm just i'm sick of it all i just want it to end it's just fucking i want it to fucking end while of me it's just one I'm sorry. No, you deserve better than that. No, you always have. Dude, she's so <laughs> when will I ever be good enough? <laughs> you are good enough. In fact, you're better than most people fucking deserve. There's a lot of people out there. Stone dumb. Or blind. You've always been someone that's worn their heart on their sleeve. And you've always deserved better than what you've got. You are valued, you know that. Maybe it doesn't feel like it, especially at your lowest. I care about you, I love you. You're one of my best friends. One of the only people that hurt as much as I did. And we went through that together, right? Always gonna beat you down, kick you. But you're strong, Renny. You've always been strong. Stronger than most. Not many <coughs> people I know that could go through what you have and come out the other side. I contribute being here and the answer always changes and I never really know why and then there are moments when I'm by myself where I remember those nights of not having anyone and then when I got here I remember it was everything because it was the family that I never thought I needed. But how am, what am I doing to keep it? I feel like I'm fighting some kind of whatever out there, but I'm use, I'm losing this, 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 this weird, this weird battle with myself and I, I can't pinpoint what it is. I feel like everyone around me is just right. 
I'm, I'm finally giving innocent. They're, they're, they they were always right. LJ was right. LJ was right. Let me tell you about LJ. I don't think that fella's been right in his entire fucking life. <laughs> I wouldn't be taking what he says and putting any weight to it. Let me tell you something. You contribute a lot. All right, you pull your weight just like everybody else. Sure, I make jokes and such, but let me tell you something here. A dead end gang without Rennie, without seeing your face or your smile or your yelling, or even your smacking into me with horses, wouldn't be a dead end gang that I'd want to be a part of. You are just as important and meaningful as anybody I know. I need you here. You make me stronger. You remind me of why I do this and why I care. Very few people were here before everything. A lot of people are here for the money or the fame or notoriety or the lessons to be learned. But very few are here because they love. We need more of that, not less. No, no, I don't. I don't need time away. All right. However, I may need an hour or two to be sober. Maybe a day, I don't know. But I don't need time away. All right. I think I'm comfortable where I am staying here. I'm gonna go down with this ship to my very last breath. I ain't going down anytime soon, I assure you of that. Come here. You get yourself sober. I'll be around, all right? Okay. All right. Dude. She's amazing, man. Shout out to Angel Knives. Incredible. Incredible. Guys, that was a kiss on the cheek. Chill. <sighs> okay, man. I think we did all right talking her off that ledge i don't know man i'm i'm so like not good at that stuff <laughs> Vinny, thank you for the 10 gift and subs dude she brought s tier man and i had to try to fucking try to role play off that oh man oh. Vinny with the 10 gifted subs dude thank you thank you love you guys love it Thank you, Vinny. Hey. Hello? Eddie is, uh, looking for you, and he's not in the friendliest mood. 
All right, where so we came to tell you he's in Rhodes. They were at the telegram station. He was looking for you in the saloon. All right. Well, it's going to be one of those days, man. It's going to be one of those days, man. Now, I'll some. If anything happens, if he gets all aggressive like and does something to me. Don't hurt him, alright? Alvin, you got a rope? Matter of water, right, Scout? That's them. We don't have time to get a rope. <gasps> Heard you want to talk, Eddie. See, that's what I'm talking about. So you're telling them that I stepped down. You don't listen. See, you, didn't, you don't listen to me. I told you that I needed some time. That I was going to spend some time with the family while they're visiting. Visiting. Not moving back. Not claiming anything. But no, you wouldn't give me that. So you're telling them to step down. But okay, that's fine. Tell them whatever you need to tell them. I said if you wanted out and you said yes. I didn't say that. Did he not? I just worry he did. I said I need some time. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, you've got time. You've got all the time but in the world. The point is... Yeah, yeah, real smart. <laughs> I need to know... Uh, you need to tell these people, reassure them, that they gotta stick with you. Nobody can, nobody's leaving to go with me. There is no me. It's just you. You gotta take care of these people because these people are gonna stick by you. Okay. You got an understanding of that? I'm gonna run this group as best I can, like I always do. And what about you? What are you gonna do? I told you what I was going to do. I have family coming for a visit. That's right, your family. And they're expecting a little soiree throw. Uh huh. I'm going to oblige to them. Wow. Merely a day. And if you're so concerned, I'll give you my conclusion. If you'll do me that respect. Ain't no 
what troubles me, it troubles me that you still see this, is this is my problem. Like, I'm the one doing this to you. Is that how you see it? The way I see it is, I go to hell and back for you, Eddie. But I don't think you believe that. Take all the time you want. You know you always have a home with me. some time away will be good for you. Give you a new perspective of things. Yeah. Just, uh, just in case I don't see, I think I think I do owe you a thank you for everything you've done for me, everything you will do for me. Yeah, I owe you that much. Really? You know what? Yeah. You know, maybe I've neglected that, took advantage of your generosity, and. Uh, not thanked you enough when you did give me all that love and affection. I failed you. I failed this group. And, uh, you know, I definitely think, yeah, you know, a demotion. would be best and a suspension if we're thinking this is you know run the numbers and then from there uh you can hold a tribunal huh <laughs> like court <laughs> and then you tell me my charts huh time to think on it. Till then, go be with your family. I'm sure they're dying to see you. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. He's so hard to read, man. Because even when he's being genuine, he doesn't sound like he's being genuine. <laughs> Maybe he didn't say that he was out, but it definitely sounded like that's what he was like implying. I guess I, I, I guess I picked up the wrong vibe. It's all good though. He said it straight up. You misunderstood him. Uh, it's whatever. It's it's still good RP. It's like whatever. Interesting. Because he was going around in a pissed off mood looking for me, but then he's kind of chill when he actually sees me, so. We should see at some point if Cesar is around. He's expecting our stuff. 
What stuff? Golden bombs. Is that who we're selling to? Two we were selling to yesterday, and then we got caught. All right. Well, we sell the paper to uh, Hathaway. Okay. I'll reach out to Hathaway. The gold we can uh, go to Cesare. Uh, Alvin has Scout talked to you about that. Well, the other way around. Sorry, Alvin. Did you speak to Scout? Is he talking? He's not. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Did you not hear him? Uh, I don't know, uh, Alvin. Hello. Oh. All right, uh, Alvin and uh, your scout. I think they have six boards or seven boards. All right, how many scout bombs do you have? Four. Um, Forty, maybe. I have to check the other horse. What about you, scout? I'd have to collect it all to figure it out. All right, I want you both to collect what you've got and put them in boxes for us, all right? I'll reach out to Cesare and uh, Hathaway and we'll, we'll meet them together. We also have a few gems as well. The gems I want to save up. So um, right. I've got a pouch somewhere. We'll put it in the pouch. Gotta be honest, I'm a little confused. So Eddie's coming back. He's no, just no, visiting no. family. He's, he's taking time away. Okay. He's a confusing one. Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> Are you doing okay with it? Oh, I'm fine. All right, I'll drop you here. Okay. I'll be right here. Give me a couple minutes. Yeah. Oh, man. This is where we put the, uh... <laughs> this is where we have the montage of, um... Of Wallaby thinking about, like, all the shit that Eddie and him have been through. Let me play this music here. God damn it, Eddie. Got Telegram Hathaway. I've already Telegram Cesari. So I've got Telegram Hathaway.
<laughs> oh man. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Um, sorry guys, I'm just sorting shit out. That'll be a dollar. Thank you. Is that a lay? Just put the coat on, look extra smart. Ah, nice slide, Mark. And another shout out, by the way, to Angel Knives. That was one of the most heart. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. How you doing? Been a while. Yeah, I'm doing good. Are you working today? Well, um, I was going to work. Um, I got shot yesterday and no one seemed to care how I felt, so. Wait, shot? F who shot you? Some gods over at the the main. Um, I ain't feeling too good, so I don't know. Um, wait, wait, wait. Did the bullet hit you in the chest? No, the rib. Did it hit you in the butt? No, in the rib. All right, that's fine then. What's you know? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I yeah, just good to go. Uh, well, yeah. Well. Well, I care. I do care. You don't care where you been. I've been. You have me. I haven't seen you I've since. I've been busy. Have you not been looked after? I make that 30%. I don't know. I've Remember been... that. What? I said you gotta make that 30%. Don't forget that. Solid work. Yeah. I know. And I've been giving any money I've got, you know, got over to Edwin. And I worked here at the bar yesterday by myself for four hours by myself. All right. Well, that's, that's appreciated. I'm sorry you have to do that by yourself. That's well, fine. It is what it is. Uh, what you up to? Well, I'm getting this shit up and running, so... uh. You know, get your uh, your oh, lovely, oh, get your lovely yeah, attire on, and uh, we'll get you to work. I feel good. You're taking a sick day. Yeah, I would like to. I don't want to be in there with all them people right now. You angry with them? Let me ask you a question, okay? Sure. And it could be me talking up to being sensitive <laughs> or not. Let's say that um, no, you knew what the people. No one knows really who you are. Uh huh. And. You work a whole day, you get shot twice. Well, I got well, two bullets, I guess. I ain't feeling good. I come back, work another hour, knowing very damn well I don't feel well. In the whole time I'm waiting for a telegram from someone, I ain't gonna say the name. No response. I finally seen him today. I said, hey, what's going on? Uh, he said, I'm busy. I said, I understand you. Know, that's fine. I just came to, you know, I worked yesterday and I got shot and and then it just, no one cares. I think she wants to do something else. I don't know. Else. I don't know what I'm talking about. Who cares? No one cares. Well, that's not true, but if you want to take the day off, I'm not going to stop y'all. Yeah, I ain't going to dance for no one today. I worked really hard yesterday and get my money away, so. No, I understand. I'd be more than happy to come back maybe tomorrow or... All right. When you know, I could be by myself here or something, I don't know. I don't know these gals, to be honest with you. To be honest with you, I don't trust them, so. All right, well, job's here if you want it back. Oh, yeah. Well, I ain't quitting at all. All right, well, take the day off for yourself and enjoy yourself. I will. Thank you. All right, ta-ta. Hope you will. Oh, we got some bad news and some bad news. What is okay. It? Say oh, actually, it's, first. it's bad news and good news, actually. Oh. Bad news is uh, Raven's taking a sick day off. Okay. The good news is, is Dakota's going to pick up the slack. <laughs> Get your dance attire on. I'm going to have a bath. Okay, do you want me to dance for you in the bath? No. No. Okay.
There she is. Oh, there, here I am. There you are. Right. Glad you could make it. How you feeling? I, I'm feeling better. I'm sorry about earlier. Now you understand, it's a very touchy subject, so, you know, the interruptions and such, you're liable to get uh, people hated. You understand? Oh, I, I see. I didn't know that before. All right, right. Well, how would you feel if, like, you were having a conversation about you and Tommy? Mm -hmm. Some very personal stuff, and someone's in the background, you know, yelling out all kinds of things. It frustrates you, right? Uh, yes. Exactly. Right. How are you feeling I, today, though, otherwise? I'm feeling fine. It's just I can't help what I feel. I ha Oh, look at all that going on down there. Um, I just... I just have a lot to say, you know? Yeah, I know, but there's a time and place, Adelaide. Oh. No, 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 it's all right. I forgive y'all. It's not a big deal. <gasps> really? I'm sorry. I really am. Oh, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. <sighs> what I need you to do is, though, I need you to take your, uh, your coat off. You want me to get some customers? That's right. That's right. My golden goose. Remember that. <laughs> Your golden goose. Yes, which reminds uh, me, uh, the payment method's going to be changed slightly. Oh, oh, am I getting more money? <sighs> no, no. Your 30% will be going to your husband. As per his request. Uh, oh. <laughs> it, it is? Oh, well, he's your husband, right? You tell him everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure he told you everything, right? You already knew this, surely. Mm hmm Well, lovely, uh, then. Well, I'm going to have uh -huh. a bath now, and you are... You, you, uh, you shake those hips and make that 30% for uh, Mr. Two Snakes now. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ah, that's a shame. A small turd. Are you fucking kidding me? What the oh, fuck is up here? Peaches. Get a look, get a look. Yeah. Why are you huffing and puffing? Um, what? Look at the fucking mess in there. Uh, uh. Adelaide, did you make a mess upstairs? Did you shit in the bath? What the fuck? I need you to go find. Actually, you know, Harry's too fucking sick. We... I'm not taking care of this. this I is, think. Was this not I think. She I was think you're taking. Her. You're taking full responsibility. Someone took a shit in the tub. Adelaide, you fucking Adelaide, shit Adelaide, this was you. You were up here singing just a second. Who was the last to use the bathtub? Did you shit in the tub, Adelaide? You disgusting little witch. I did shit. Well, be here. Jesus. You Hold on one second. I gotta, I gotta get Adelaide to clean up her fucking shit. Get over it here. It wasn't my shit. I was... What kind of psychopath takes a bath and shits in it? I didn't know there was doo doo. I was in the so bath you and in I. The bath with the doo doo? I thought it was lavender leaves. Adelaide. Oh, you fucking rake. All right. <gasps> yeah, because you already smell like shit, you're gonna go out there and clean up the shit and then you're gonna take a bath and get yourself clean. All right. How do I clean a shit bathtub? You have to empty it, it all out the window and then go get some fresh water at the pump. What? Where? Where's the pump? Oh, the pump, the water pump. All right. That's right. I'll be back. Fucking oh, nasty. You smell horrendous, oh. Adelaide. That is sorry. very upset. Here. The bath is not Who a place to that? pinch one off, Adelaide. I didn't pinch one off. It was already you... pinched off. All right. Here's the, uh... Is there some sort of kink? Probably, yeah. She was very right, happy perfect. in the right. I'll get the pouch. Singing and everything. You got the paper. Uh, yeah. Off. We got 80. We got 80? You've, put, you've boxed it up? Yep. Okay, Alvin's then. got the gold. I've got the paper. Alright, we'll just wait for them to uh, telegram back. Uh, Dakota, squeeze them a bit closer together. Alright. <laughs> I need uh, the peep to pass me the tissues again. Grab him yourself. Where'd I put the pouch, man? Did I put it in the bank? Did I put it on my saddle? Fuck, I don't remember, man. I don't recall. Uh, 
I'll check the bank. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. The fuck does he want? Good for your throne. Hi, Rip. Do you want to dance? Deputies. Oh, wait, no. Sheriff and deputy. How can I help you? Listen, uh, I'm not going to lie. We've had a potential worry around the town. You've seen any other large groups around looking like they might be up to no good? Large groups up to no good? I can't say that I have. Telegram. Okay. Ow. That's all we need to know. If you see anyone acting suspiciously oh. or coming in asking strange questions, oh, please yeah, let us know. Yeah, you'll be the first to know. Hard will come running right to you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Uh -huh. We got some, some hobos harassing our, our saloon. Other than that. Yeah, you want, maybe want to do that. Maybe clean the town up a little bit. It's fucking disgusting. I mean, it's not my town. The hobos taking care of themselves. Leaving the town, so... Yeah, just get rid of them. It's not a good look for the town. Yeah, we had to replace a window. They threw a knife through one of them. They're it's shitting really the, a mess. They're shitting in the fucking tub. Would you like to make a report? I would not like to make a report. I'd like you to do your fucking job. Well, that is my job. Clean I take the fucking reports streets. and act and honor. Clean the fucking streets up a little bit. Show some initiative, Hart. Try not to hold your hand and write a report. Well, no, that's how things get done, right? We make the report, then we act on the information we've deemed oh, from it. for fuck's sake. What a fucking boring life you lead. No wonder fucking Rip over here is aged 20 years in the last five days. <laughs> Poor fucking the past five days. I don't fucking know. Last time I saw you, you were semi-young, and now you look like fucking Santa Claus. <laughs> And he's yeah, dressed like Santa Claus, to, uh... so it's perfect combination, perfect partnership. Now get the fuck out of here. A lot more to life than just uh, the job. Yeah, sure there is, Rep. I'm sure you you do a lot of different things in life. Yeah, check my telegrams. I'll check the bank first. They're both seniors? No, one of them's a sheriff, the other's a senior. The fucking hobo problem. Uh, let's see, did I put it in here? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Open. Lovely. Just let this fill up before we do anything. So Eddie, I think Eddie has a bunch of gems on him. I'm pretty sure he hasn't sold a bunch of gems that we've earned. So, how do we go about that, I wonder? I'm not sure. Okay, let's see who we got. I told her once, I told her a thousand times. Put the fucking coat. <sighs> I remember, and it was so lovely. And I hope you become a customer again. How are you? How 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 are you sure. doing, deputies? Oh, very well, thank you. How are you well, doing? Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Kidd. You're doing fantastic. I've told you once, I've told you a thousand fucking times. Coat what? on when you're outside the fucking saloon. What are you doing? Uh, what? You giving them a free uh, show? Uh, um. Cut off. No. Cut off. Oh, uh, Cameron, this is Grace. So I'm gonna have to tell your girlfriend here. Yeah. All right, oh, there we yeah, go. All right. Better. All right. Sorry, all right. you'll have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. That's the man I want to say. What's that? I was just about to telegram you back. Oh, lovely. All right, uh, let's, uh, have a little meeting, uh, let's go. Uh, 
Let's go to uh, Calico Hall near the fishing spot. Sounds good to me. Yeah, bring some oh, water. Will do. Any idea how much you're looking at? I think we've got between 80 and 90. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. I'll meet you there. Too easy. Alright, we got Cesare within the hour. We got this guy. I actually had some time free up, so I'm available now. Where would you like to meet? Alright, let's meet her in 30. So what time is the EST, guys? So it's it's 10 a.m. EST. Wait, is that right? No, it's no, it's for me. It's 6 p.m. EST. So let's go 6:30 EST at Let's just say the saloon. Let's just say the saloon. 6:30. Wallaby, 6.30 p.m. EST at Rhodes Saloon. Okay. And then after that, we should be able to... Okay, and this telegram Cesare. Let's go 7 o'clock. I'll meet him at his place at 7. How's that sound? That's perfect, right? Uh, Cesare. Cesare. Wallaby meeting. I will come to your place at 7 p.m. EST. All right. We're booked up. We're booked up till 7. I should tell you to keep working at the saloon. I think, I think both of us need... Like, both characters need time just to cool off a little bit. Things are very emotional right now. They're very tense. There's a lot of different, you know, varying opinions and thoughts and feelings. I need to use the bathroom real quick, guys. I gots to go. Can you give me uh, about a minute? Is that cool? Are you, able to, are you able to entertain yourself for a minute, guys? Can you do that for me? Alright. You're a child. <laughs> Alright, give me give me one minute, guys, and we'll uh we'll continue. Be right back. I'm back. Okay. Let's fucking ride, boys. Uh, man, some really important scenes today. Some very important, important stuff. 
I think we've we brought the group back together for the most part, but there's still like underlining issues that have that like that have to be addressed. Like the the scout and Dakota thing, that's not that's that's not fixed. Like not even close. That, that's gonna have to be addressed. But we can't expect to fix it all in one day and overnight, you know. Just, just, for now, I'm trying to distract them, doing other stuff until we have our ducks in order. Fuck, we need to figure out our new bank situation because I don't think I can use Emma any. Is it Emma? Amy? I don't know if we can use a Braithwaite, man. I don't think we can. What, what, what if we just give the money to Harry? I think uh, Wallaby knows about the hobo situation. Yeah, we got off. hobos ruining our business. Where are they? They're probably the ones who shat in the tub and they threw knives at the building right, earlier where, where and are are they? causing an issue. Uh, not around know. now. But they reside in Valentine, as far as I'm aware. All right, well, are we gonna kill them? We might have to if the law don't get their shit together. Ah, all right, pest control. All right. I made twenty dollars. Right, we could ride out against oh, some yeah. hobos. Oh, twenty dollars for what? Well, I fake fell in front of someone's horse and made them feel bad, so they gave me twenty dollars. Lovely. All right, Good give, on, that, give yeah. that to me. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> Oh, are you Tommy bitch? takes the other 30%. That's that's the business arrangement that they've come up with, yes. Good stuff. All right, well, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get in contact with Tommy. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Peaches. Yep, yep. I wonder if you could telegram Timmy for me, see if he's around. Yeah. I can, but I am going to sleep soon. All right, just uh, tell him to... Uh, I guess Telegram yeah, Wallaby. Telegram? Yeah, just do yeah. that. Uh, Alvin and Scout, we're going to go for a little ride real quick. Uh, Dakota Whee! and Adelaide, can you watch the bar? Uh, uh, yeah. All right. We'll be back in like five minutes. We won't be long. Can you drop me off at the Telegrams on your way up? Wait, where uh, are you we're, going? we're going the opposite way. Okay, never mind then. All right, be back. Be back. <laughs> Bye, boy. This is sad. But the Adelaide thing, I know. Uh, I'm gonna but ultimately, you know what? That's their role play, man. I ain't gonna question their role play. They got their fucking situation all sorted out with, you know, Tommy being a complete scumbag. I'm just gonna feed into that. Because <laughs> I think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> hey, this is not Wallaby's arrangement. This was this was this was brought to him by her husband. If she wants to figure that out, she's gonna have to figure it out with him. And that's for the better, okay? So what's his cut? 60? Not 60, sorry, $6? I think. It's their marriage, man. I'm getting involved in that shit. We have to keep tabs on how much we owe Tommy. So that's six bucks. Let's continue keeping track of that. I thought it was thirty percent for the dancing. No, it's everything now, man. <laughs> we're just going. We're just going balls deep in this shit. Let's go. I got the paper. Uh, yeah, I got the paper. All right. We're going to uh, offload them now, and at 7 o'clock, which is just uh, under an hour, we're going to go sell the uh, the gold to the Chanzos. I think Harry might be a safe bank, honestly. I think we treat her, if we treat her nice after the stabbing, she might be loyal to us. He's not a criminal. As far as I know. And plus it's Sarah. Which means I can make a login whenever I like. Actually beautiful. <laughs> Wait, Timmy? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Timmy, Timmy's a different kettle of fish, man. He's someone that I want to corrupt into becoming a bad guy.
Nice horse. I just love when I hitch my horse and he says, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, well, right. you know. You know how he likes to roam. Yeah, Scott, I want you to, uh... I want you to sell these off to him, alright? Yep. Howdy, Scott. Howdy there, how Mr. Many? Hathaway. How, how you doing? Been better. Yeah, okay. I feel that. Thanks, That's good. Our new right hand man, guys. And you, ma'am? Yeah, you as well. So we got uh, 80, 80 bonds here for you. Uh, 2,400 if I'm doing my math correct. Sounds yeah. about right to me. 2,400. Oh, um, All right. How is you business? Wanna, uh... Business is uh, thick and fast, as always. Um, I did actually want to speak to you guys, you know, about everything that's happening in Rhodes with the parlor house and obviously Scout, you know I was there the other night with the oil tanker in front of the, the gun store. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, I had concerns about stuff like that happening in Rhodes. You know, that's where I live. It's where Faye lives and works where a lot of friends of mine stay. Is everything going okay? Is everything all right? Everything is, well, as you know, a little bit crazy, but everything's taken care of. It's not going to be an issue. You and yours are safe. I wish that were completely true, but... You remember that um, man who was snooping on our meat up in uh, the fort that one time? Uh, Edgar. That's the guy. Rogue, rogue bootlegger. Thank you again for the 10 subs. Had a telegram this morning. Yeah. You think you think Killed six a close months, friend of mine. Like the 15? Someone you all might know, actually. Uh, I had a run in with her in the past. Shesto, I believe her. It was all cleared. There was no problems afterwards, but Wallaby, uh, I believe you stabbed her on the deck of the Corrigan. Where'd you hear that? You told me herself. Oh. Jules Preston. What's she doing? She, uh, she was killed by Edgar last night in Guama. Oh, shit. Oh, she's dead. She is dead. Edgar. Edgar. Scott, do we know an Edgar? Uh, he's the fella that we met at the fort who had issues with Mr. Hathaway here, and they oh, talked it out in front of us. Right, 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 right. Oh, well, I'm sorry she was your friend. Yeah. Um, I thought I'd solved everything with him. I actually, um, made a deal with him that included among my friends doing some work with him so he could bring me bonds and have a different source of revenue. I like peaceful outcomes, so that happened and unfortunately it meant Jules getting to know him. Rip Jules, man. It didn't end so well. Huh. Well, my condolences. Well, appreciate it. I did have a uh, other things I wanted to talk about, but I guess my mind's a bit foggy right now. Yeah, well, we're around roads. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come find you when I feel a bit more clear-headed, I guess. Oh, yeah, and uh, just so you know, Rhodes is my home, too. That's where I grew up. So don't worry, my, my heart's there, and I only have the best interests at heart when it comes to Rhodes. Uh, Mr. Flood and Ruby are safe. They're all good. Yes. Good to hear. Okay. I, uh, I won't keep you. I'm sure you're very busy. All right. Well, I appreciate the business. As usual.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I hope yeah. everything goes well in the power house. Appreciate that. You should come by sometime, get yourself a dance. Um, <laughs> I'll be sure to do that. Yeah. Good. On the house. All right. Thanks. Yeah, I'm sorry to yeah. hear about uh, your friend, Mr. Yeah. Hathaway. I appreciate it. You all, right? you all have a good rest of the night. Yeah. You Jules too. is dead, eh? Killed by Edgar. I don't know much about Edgar, to be honest with you. Alright. Back to the saloon, I guess. Got a meeting there with a paper lady. Alright. Maybe I get some advertisement for us, perhaps. So what do we do about these, uh... Homeless fucks. I mean, I can go to Valentine in my own time. No, 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 no. I think this is a perfect job for Mr. Two Snakes. Reach out to him for me. I'd like to see him. All right. This is a perfect job for, for, for Tommy, man. Real dirty fucking terrible work, man. It's exactly what I need him for. As an enforcer. Yeah, we don't, uh... We don't stoop down to that level of going out looking for fucking hobos in Valentine. Like I said, I get bored in my free time. Well, if you want to join him, you can. Happy to fuck up some random hobos who are fucking with our income. Scat needs the real yeah 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 I, I guess I could send him and and Tommy. I'm gonna check my telegrams. Be back. Alright. Man, if I if I if I could get Tommy to be my enforcer slash hitman, that'd be fucking perfect. That's like right up his alley, bro. Did Walby talk to Scat about how he feels about him? I mean, he told him that he's sorry and that he's here for him. Scat was uh, very standoffish, so Wallaby didn't want to push too much. Uh, so you see you then. That was uh, a little bit ago. He should be here shortly. Is that her there? I've got no idea. Maybe. Tommy's too wild to be tamed. I don't have to tame him. I don't want him to be tamed. I want him to do fucked up shit for money. <laughs> I, I don't intend for him to be like one of us to the point where I trust him and he's like a friend or whatever. He's he's just gonna be he's gonna, he's basically a mercenary. Like a full time mercenary. Just stand next to me, man. Come to meetings and just stand there and look intimidating. Like, be my Rottweiler that Eddie used to be. <laughs> I think Enforcer fits him really well. Hitman, whose wife you have on your good side, dancing in your club. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, shit. Joe? Joe? 
What? <laughs> My like, name's Norman. I took you out on a date? No. You were meant to be my plus one, and you turned up with a plus two. <laughs> Some yeah, random I fella. I'm oh, so date sorry. Date. I sir, I. You know it's what? fine. You know what? She can make it up to her. No, I'd rather not. <laughs> Why, you're not interested in a little dance? What, now you don't want her to climb a tree? Well, then, no, thank you. No climbing Miss Scotch will do this, fine. Just a very classy dance, sir. The only thing I want to... Uh, Near me and my lips just know is this. Thanks, but no thanks, Adelaide. That's a shame. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. I... Oh, it's fine. I... He doesn't want the, uh, you know, special deal. That's fine. Let him have his drink and he, uh, he can drink in peace. Special. What does yeah. this place become? Oh, well, you know, you know, it goes well. It helps with the digestion. It's a nice dance with my pretty lady. How much? Oh, it depends what kind of dance you're looking for. If you're looking There's for There's different the... tiers of dances. Oh, of course there is. If you're looking for the high tier, it's $100. And she will give you a wonderful dance that you're going to stand up and feel like a million bucks. That's right. <laughs> Worth every penny. From Adelaide. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, who do you want the dance from? Is there someone around here? <laughs> no, it's Melbourne? just if it comes from Adelaide, so it's, it's basically just like loading a gun. No, no, no. Is I, it think, not? I think you'll be so. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, sir. Come on, Are give you it a sure? shot. Give it a shot. Whatever stays in Rhodes Parlour stays in Rhodes. Of, whatever that, happens here stays right. in Rhodes Parlour, right? right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. Drink yeah. that up. And now enjoy Thanks yourself somebody. to some quality entertainment. All right. Where do I go? Where are we going? Oh, you pay me, and then we'll give you the dance. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. Get prepared, Adelo. Oh, of course. Thank you very much. I'll come this way. Ugh. Sit right here, my friend. There you go, there you go. Are right, you ready? I'm ready, sir. Get ready for the dance of your life. Make sure that you I'm compl ready. compliment him and all that stuff. Oh, right? of course. Make sure mm -hmm. you make him feel real nice. All right. Are we? Are we? All right. Here we go. <clears throat> On the music now, Adelaide. All right. Um, all right, any second now. <laughs> I just pull my fingers up. <laughs> you know what? Give me a second here. <laughs> so, uh, I really love your outfit. It really compliments your features. Come on, you features. son of a bitch. Don't start yet. What? Oh, right. Thank you, uh, yeah. Come on, piano. What the fuck? Where is the music? I, I, I'm, 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 I just, I'm trying to think of the song that I want to play. Give me some fucking oh. space. All right, all right. This is hold on. Hundred dollars well spent. You know what? You know what? Play it, babe. You know what? I don't like the way you're you only played the, the hey, you only played a hundred. I'm going to give you the exclusive entertainment. Uh -huh. Why can't I open my satchel? My glitch. Grab Dakota or something. No, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. <laughs> Is it not working? That's uh, <laughs> something else. I'm having some problems. You know what? Give me a fucking sec. No, stop, stop. <laughs> Get to the uh, go to the back oh. area. Go to the back. Go to the back. Area. Oh. Just wait there, oh. sir. We'll be right with you in a second. Yeah, get back here. Okay. Give me one second. What is going on with you? <laughs> I know what's going on, man. We got some issues.
<sighs> Kono, is he here? Oh no, it's Kono's fault. Oh, absolutely. Ah, oh, man. Fuck. Okay, hopefully that fixes it. I feel 100% comfortable with this. Right, I think I'm good oh, to go. You're a lovely customer, so. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is it now. And away we go. <sighs> you, you, you know what? You know what? Hmm. <laughs> Peaches, get yeah. down here. Peaches, get down here. Uh, Peaches? Okay. Do your, your trademark uh, singing. Oh god, no! So what? Just, 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 what? just, just make some fucking sounds. I don't give a shit what it sounds uh, like. All right, uh, go ahead. Well, you know, you know, I heard that uh, Scout no, is a very good out. singer. No. Actually, I heard Dakota. Listen, I don't need you to sing. Just make some fucking what? sounds. That sounds some, like music. Some sounds. Just go. Okay, okay. Just go okay. doo 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 or something like that. All right, go ahead. Okay, okay. You ready? All right, you here ready, we Adelaide? go. Get ready, Adelaide. I'm ready. Okay. Do, 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 do. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm walking away from this. Flood, how you going? Doing all right. Do you know how to play a piano? Uh, no. Fuck. I gotta go put my work outfit on. Okay, so much for learning how to make a cocktail. She's, yeah, she's gotta get her tits out. Don't mind her. Oh, for God's sake, it's a dark day in the saloon. Oh no, I fucking scout. I forgot. She a pianist? Oh. Is she a Scott knows how to play piano. You need a pianist. Um, yes, I need a pianist. Oh. Obviously. Thank you, Flop. I don't know. I think Peach is doing a pretty good job over there. She is doing a pretty good job. Oh, she I, should uh, get a raise. I run a racing league. Horses? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, what can I do for you, Flop? Two minutes. Oh, oh nothing. Peach just said you were all here. Uh, I want to stop by. Oh, lovely. Uh, you should know that Eddie's aware now. I'd love to raise hand. I, told, right. I told him the truth, and uh, I guess he took it as well as possible. Sure. Oh, okay. fuck me. Okay, you know what? That's, uh... Get, get him a free... Uh, Dakota, give me some alcohol for free, all right? I need him to forget okay. that he paid me $100 for this. Okay. <laughs> Who is it? No fucking no. Did what? Get, get him some hard liquor. I'm sorry, Adelaide. I, I, he seems to be enjoying it. Awards, but these doo -doos are getting right in my head. <laughs> we don't speak about doo doos in here, all right? It's well spent. Hi, Mister. I got an interview on a little bit with a uh, reporter. Oh yeah. Yeah, she wants to talk about the saloon. What are you calling it? Ah, uh, the Wandering Whistle. I think we're calling it. Is it the wandering all whistle? Right. Do, do, yeah, do, something like do, that. Do, do, do. Yeah. You know, you wet your whistle here and all that shit. How do you do that? Okay. Good. Good name for it. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. so true. It's got double right. meaning and okay. all that good stuff. Triple meaning. And Edwin's uh, on board with everything? Is this like a specific song? You know what? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit too much, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she makes her thirty percent cut. Adelaide. Uh huh. Are you having fun? I think that's fair, right? That's modern rights. Yeah. Yeah. And as a great upon, it goes straight to her husband. That. Listen, whatever they do in their fucking marriage has nothing to do with marriage. Uh, yeah, that, that seems strange, but all right, okay, I guess. Don't ask, don't ask any questions, right? It's their fucking thing. It's nothing to do with me or you. Yeah. Right, you know, that's, yeah, a, that's, that's enough fucking dancing. Let me just no break this up. You know. All right, well, dance is over. Put the fucking <laughs> oh. right. Thank uh. you, sir. Did you get your free drink? I did. Thank oh, you lovely. very much. I'll drink one here. I'll take uh, one for the road. Make sure you spread the word of how great that was. <laughs> yes. Yes, spread the word now. All right. You especially like the doo-doo. The doo-doo, yes. All right. How would I call this place? That we call the wandering whistle. The wandering whistle. That's right. All right.
Uh, this is the the Norman package. Nobody else gets this. Only I get the to yeah, do. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I have so fucking little. All right. Yeah, yeah. Go, go tell your friends about us. I will. Thank you very much for your custom cocktails. Very good. Okay. Very good pages. Thank you. Can I pull you aside for like two seconds so I can go to bed? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. You work here now, Flood? Okay. Um. So no, I'm just showing Dakota I how gave to make cocktails. Five hundred and seventy dollars to Where's Annie to hold on to. Right, no. Uh, so these are your shaker. That back. That's what you're gonna do when you're mixing okay, your fine. cocktails. You pour uh, them in there. Do you know who we're giving it to? I was now, uh, considering. Uh, now, hear me out here. Okay. Okay. I was thinking about maybe Harry. Does it include Wiki? Harry. She's not a criminal. Whiskey. She didn't okay, speak to the law. She stays at the slaughterhouse, which means it's easy Whiskey. to deposit. Some right. cherries, have you got them? And because but, she's... No, no, this is uh, the best part. Okay, listen okay, here. It's very important. Lemon juice and the syrup. She sleeps uh -huh. right upstairs, so I can wake up whenever we want. <laughs> that is true. Whenever also, I want. Okay, why you guys say it like that? First uh, because of all, I can wake her up and we give her the money. We can or fucking or withdraw. Okay. It's easy. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, look, this is a very, very caramel. good point. Right? Caramel. The only caramel. thing I'm worried about no, I say caramel. Uh -huh. is her one day deciding that she hates us is, all. Is that not wrong? She doesn't hate me, away. which is the main funny. thing. Yeah, uh, but yeah. what happens you when your ass? I don't know you do something in the future and she yeah, decides? I no, understand that. We, you know, this, these are these are troubling times. Okay. But you know what? Yeah, you we have to risk it somewhere be, because uh, I'm not going to find anyone better than Flood. So no matter who we give it to, there's a fucking risk there. Why do you have to? Period. Why can't you store it? I can't give it to a brave way. The fucking like brave ways can't be trusted. Oh. Why? I don't know, Annie seems Never okay. Is. I mean, she's fine, naked. but what happens when, you know, Uncle Bill and Uncle Bob and fucking uh, Auntie Louie come out of the fucking woodworks and decide, you know what? Give us the, the money. The so it's family's money now. Just, yeah, yeah. They're all a bunch of wealthy, yeah, really, snobby yeah. sons of bitches, all right? Yeah, I guess I didn't think, because I kind of thought Annie, Annie was the only one around. If no, there's no, no, more no, there's, coming, there's, there's, then... More. They're breeding out there. Pages. Yeah, they might. They're breeding in the hills. Anyway, I've heard so of it now. Coming towards the uh, kind of road. Oh, you gross. Yes. You've heard it? Yeah, like a goats shake. Is that love. Alive? You know, right yes. above the head, then goats. at the hips. Yeah. How do you goats make do love? Have to move it your body? Why do you know how goats it's make just love? Easier that I've way. seen it. Oh, okay. You watch goats you don't making want to love? Nothing. I saw Scout Dakota going at it once by accident. Oh, my God. Let's not talk about it. Did you look away or did you watch? Why is anyone just coming after my age these days? It's like. Jesus. Something just horrific. You just can't this, take your this eyes is off the it. the third instance we've had this just alone with you. Are Dakota. you into that? I, I don't no, know. I'm not. There's not a lot of old men okay. across the It was horrific. It was horrific. You can tell me if you are. It was a fucking joke, goddammit, because I'm just saying. I think we give the money to Harry. I think. I think. Shit. You know? I think she might be the best option. What if. Okay, we should talk to everyone about it, though. I think that we should make the decision as a group. You're right. Are you are. Okay. Are you voting a yes? Is that so, are you giving a thumbs up? Disconcerting. Oh God. Yeah. Give me the, thumb, anyway, give me the so thumbs up. Give me the thumbs up. Back this into the glass. Uh, okay. Listen, listen, she's been there stabbed up a little bit. All right. Let's 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 try and make it up to her. All right. Make sure you keep the strainer okay. in. Okay. Okay. Make it up to her. Okay. 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 But she's not gonna. Cause she always asks again, for things. She always is like, I want, I want a horse. I want a gun. She's not gonna use it and then just buy random stuff. Right. We're gonna tell her. We're gonna tell her that she's gonna hold the money. Yeah. Right. It's from the and she has an allowance oh, of yeah, hundred dollars a week. Hundred dollars a week to spend on what she yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Can I? I'll talk to the rest. I got your thumbs up. I'll talk to the rest individually. Okay. I want to be clear. This is and a very hesitant thumbs up. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm only kind of thumbsing up because there you go, it, there's no one else. Oh. There's really not many other people. I thought Annie would be good, yeah, but it's not the right She literally lives in our slaughterhouse. Where's she gonna go? She can't afford to fuck us over. She cannot fuck us over. She's got awesome. nobody. She's got she us and no one else. Really, being a professional yeah, bartender is I mean, she crazy. could, but if she starts walking around with rubies on, we're going to know. She lives okay, there. Okay. Shit to the money that's, fair, that's fair. Too. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Right. Uh, second thing, I'm going to set up the dinner for this week. In one day was like All right, you let me know. Plus okay. Is there a better day for you? Uh, no. It's you just let me know. Guys, okay. yeah. Alright. Okay. All right. Is there anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Have a lovely man. sleep. Okay. What? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Mr. Yep. Elaine Good night now. But he had to go take a quick nap. And there's some two sheriffs over there. And they at the manor right now. Why? Oh. I have no idea. 
Um, they said on behalf uh-huh. of my friend, would it be okay if they entered? I said, it ain't my home. I can't say yes or no. I said, you probably should wait for the guy to wake up. And they said that's of urgency. They end up the manor. So I thought I would come here and let y'all know. Huh. But the amount of people living there, it's hard to tell what it's for. Yeah, yeah it could be Delaney. It could be any of them. It's got yeah. a lot of well, okay, about. Delaney is who I was with. Yeah. Sorry. Um, they said um, it's about the accident. I said, I didn't Oh. They were investigating the explosion. Another great stream. Thank you. Bert All right. Whistle. Just want to let you know that I'd like for you okay. to be my number two. What about uh, Rennie? She's or not she's, Peaches? She's, she's, she's dealing with things. Peaches! I have uh, another understanding with Peaches when it comes to uh, the things. But I need someone to uh, to help run this place. When I'm not around. You got some experience mm. with the bathhouse and such. Wallaby, no offense. <laughs> Last time I was named number two. Bad things came after it. So I don't really want to be put in that position. I understand that. If you don't want the position, that's fine. I thought I'd offer it to you. I can still help out, but... You don't want it. I don't want the name tag. Very well. Very well. I respect that. Another thing I want to bring up to you, uh, we're looking for a new bank. I'm thinking, Harry. She's at the slaughterhouse already. She's not a criminal. She got stabbed up real fucking good, didn't snitch to the law. And because she's so close to home, it's easy for us to, uh, withdraw deposit whenever we like yeah so i'm just going around from everyone see if they have a thumbs up or thumbs down on the idea yeah i'm good with that i like harry all right now the elephant in the room the dakota situation now i'm gonna let things sit for a little bit but we are gonna have to address that at some point What needs to be addressed? Well, we're going to be working together a lot. I need to make sure that things are going to be okay. Now, maybe they are, maybe they're not. It's my job to make sure, though, one way or the other. So, as I said, I'll give it a few days. We'll focus on work, focus on uh, setting things up, rebuilding. But eventually, we're going to have to address it, that's all. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh. Newspaper ladies here. Oh, perfect. All right. Thank you. To an extent. For an article in the paper, of course, and uh, no one has found anything they don't want to. I see. But don't you be digging your nose <laughs> in where you don't need to now. Clara, right? Of course. Yes, hello, hello, hello. Nice to see you. Uh, wallaby kid. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, uh, we have actually met once before. I was uh, with my friend Lily when you approached us. Lily? Oh, is this that Valentine? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Ah, yes, I recall. I think I was having a little bit to drink at the time. <laughs> That's quite all right, quite all right. Well, it, it's nice to see you again. I appreciate oh, you being willing to, to I love the coach. speak with me. Look at thank that. you, thank Beautiful. you. Beautiful. Very rarely see that. I had one very similar for a while. I really, I yeah. like it quite a lot. Yes, yes. Um, get rid of me. Uh, you want to come upstairs and have a seat and uh, mm -hmm. have a little chit chat. Absolutely. Uh, we can Dakota, discuss. can we? Uh, what's your drink? Oh, uh, I, I actually don't drink. <laughs> oh, hmm. What about a juice don't. or a water? Uh, water sounds nice. There you go. Uh. Dakota, fetch the lovely lady a water and uh, bring it upstairs. 
I'll do. Thank you. Mm hmm. Would you like anything? Have a good talk. Let's get a shot of whiskey. Yeah, have a seat. Thank you. Interesting. All right. Now, what can I do for you? Get some of that bath water. <laughs> Skull Pixels, thank you for 31 months, mate. I'm I I thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Is she whispering because I can't Definitely hear her. Definitely one of the most waters of all time for you right here. Welcome. Hey, you might have to speak up a little bit, my dear. Oh, apologies, apologies. Oh, you're fine. Uh I don't know if you heard me at all, but uh I just uh, wanted to perhaps interview you about some of your recent business uh, and things like that. Nothing too prying, I, I swear. Just uh, curiosity and such. I, I heard that you and your folks were spending a lot of your time here. And I heard that you, uh, last week I believe, were spending quite a bit of time around the city. So I must say I was just a bit curious about your business, if you're willing to share. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, we are, mm. we are trying to uh, do great things here. So I would be more than happy to discuss it with you. Absolutely. Um, and I must say, I am also would love to ask you about uh, your business with Timmy Took, the paper boy. What about him? I just know that last we spoke, you were... I mean, quite aggressively looking for him, so I was wondering what that was about. I thought you wanted to talk about business. I, I do, I do. That, that of course, is the more important thing, but, uh, and of course, you need to answer nothing that you don't want to. Just try and understand what Timmy Talk has to do with the paper. Ah, uh, I mean, he is a paper boy. <laughs> he technically works for us. Well, if you must know, me and Timmy go a little while back. We just had some catching up to do. If I was right. aggressive, it was because I had too much to drink. No worries. Absolutely, makes sense. Um, so, didn't you tell me a bit, uh, how, how long have you all been, uh, spending time here at the roadhouse? Do you uh, run it, or...? Ah... Uh, yes, we are. Well, we run things during the day, and at night I think another group of people run it as well, but we've been here for about a week now. I see, I see, and so, um... business has never been quite this good. We're bringing really? life back to Rhodes, yes. That's lovely. I've been, um, personally hoping more people would do that. I like Rhodes. Yes, I, uh, I spent a lot of my youth here. Very nice, very nice. So, um, I must ask, the other day I was in here and, um, I saw quite a few bullet holes in the bar. Uh, do you have any idea what that was about? My dear, this is the crossing, right? It would be more <laughs> peculiar if there was no bullet holes at all. That's true, they just looked quite new. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a question to ask the night crew. All right, I shall. She's digging, man. Oh, too intense, too intense, too intense. So, I, um, I did hear about your recent uh, escapades on Sunday, I believe. You're going to have to be more specific. Um, specifically with the banks? 
Again, I wasn't here for that. I see, I see. Very nice. I'm starting uh, to get a, uh, a feeling with you, you are. From what I understand, I thought you were here to talk about the business and uh, what we do and all that, but it seems like you're digging into uh, territory that's a little precarious. Well, I apologize. I uh, have been known to be a bit nosy, but I do, I do wish to speak about your business. I really do. I think it's quite honorable that you are coming and running the saloon in Rhodes. And again, I, as I said before, I think, uh, I think Rhodes could use a bit more light. Oh, oh, it's been quiet for a while now. Mm. But as for the bank stuff, listen, I'm the wallaby kid. I have robbed my fair share of people and banks, but mm -hmm. I'm looking to run a legitimate business here. The Isn't days it? of gunslinging are far, far behind me. Very good to hear, I will say. So, um, has your you know, reputation? Has that affected your business in one way or another? Are people, you know, curious and wish to come and see your new business? Or do you think it deters people or neither? Oh, well, as I said, business is booming and it hasn't been this busy in roads in years. So I would that say is... no, it doesn't deter. In fact, maybe people want to check it out because of the fact <laughs> you know how people be wanting to live life on the line. Absolutely, yes I do. So, you've been running it for about a week now? That's right, we call it the Wandering yeah. Whistle. The Wandering Whistle, that's a very good name. Very, very nice. So, uh, do you have any, do you plan sort of events here or just sort of run things uh, very plainly at the moment? We, uh, we specialize in drinks and entertainment. You're some lovely gals that enjoy dancing and uh, making people feel good. Very nice. Very uh, good you could to probably hear. be a dancer yourself. <laughs> I don't think so, but I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I must ask, uh, has uh, anyone else from the paper approached you about your most recent business in, in Rhodes? Oh, you're the first to reach out. I used to deal with uh, Crispin, but mm, uh, yes. he's been sent off on to uh, Gwalmer, I believe. Oh, yes, we were over there yesterday. Nice fella. <laughs> yes, he is very lovely. That's very good to hear. <laughs> so, um, what are your plans, you know, for, for this place? Do you plan to expand in any way or uh, elaborate with, a bit with other businesses? We look to make this the best saloon in the crossing. I have no intentions of expansion. I believe in Rhodes. Rhodes has been good to me over the years. I want to give back a little bit. Give back to the community. I have taken so much. Mm. That's very good to hear. So, um, I must ask, would you consider yourself reformed, Ben? What about you? Do you think I'm reformed now that I'm running a business? Hmm? What would you say... I mean, I suppose it depends on what you do in your free time. Oh, well, I go out and buy fish, bread, alcohol, and whatever else we need to fill the menu. I also hire people. As I said, giving back, giving people jobs. That's what we're doing Absolutely. here. And I think that is fantastic. And I would say then, uh, in my personal opinion, you would be. That's right. And, uh, the, mm -hmm. you know, when we uh, have too much food on the weekend, haven't sold enough, 
We take the food down to Saint Denis, give us to the orphanage. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Um, but this is a very lovely thing. Very good to hear, giving back to the community. That's quite right. A, uh, oh my goodness, they are having quite. That's the law, you know how they be. They they have a <laughs> yeah. uh, a way of targeting us because of our past, you see. Oh, that is really harassment, my... right? Of course, I. You are not alone in that. I think. I right. have known several others who have had that issue. Sadly. Ah, uh, you know how they be then. Yes, I do. But, uh, so he, he seemed to be quite charitable. Is this a new sort of thing for you, or...? No, no, no. You see, I've always been misunderstood, you say. A lot of my stolen money would go to places of need. Hmm, I was like that fella from the books. Oh? The fellow with the bow and arrow. Robin Hood. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I see. I Not see. anymore, though. I, like I said, retired. All right, sir. Sit mm. right here. Make yourself comfortable. Does Miss Adelaide work at the bar? She is my best dancer. We got oh, a customer. Very nice. very nice to hear. She I, uh... has paid very well. Good, good. <laughs> I myself had a short stint working at a bar while I had a leave of absence from the paper, so I have a deep appreciation for saloon work. Oh, lovely. Well, if the paper doesn't oh, work out, by all means, let me know. He's going to be playing the piano. I shall, oh, thank I shall. Thank you so much, Deputy. So, Deputy Stomp, it is so nice to see you. Hey, well, um, are you, you a you had all of your um, folk that used to run with you when, you know, you did all your less savoury oh, do business. You? Do they all work here as well? For the most part, we are leaf? all trying to turn on you leaf together, oh. yes. <laughs> well, good, good, good. I mean, I it's right too. to hear. Yeah. Oh, I got too far from you now. I get a little carried away. Oh, this is, uh... What kind of article are you writing, by the way? Uh, talk about your feelings. How someone something. can reform. Uh, uh, so how have you been? Yes, actually, so? I am. Um, I actually am starting a new series about reformation and such. Uh, I know that there's a whole lot of stories around the crossing, and oh, um, so I think that this will be an excellent addition. Yeah. Oh, the good, really? good, 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 good. Do you need anything else? Twice. I have a meeting in less than ten minutes. Wow. Uh, no, no. Uh, I don't think so. Um, but if you ever, you know, have any new fun events or anything going on here or any uh, excellent updates, feel free to send me a telegram. Right? Will do, will do. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank you. This was very helpful and very nice, and it was nice to uh, see you again. Yes, you too. You have a lovely day. You as well, Mr. Kate. For him and make him feel supported and cared for. I'm so sorry. You know your wife didn't deserve you, and so I'm sure you'll find somebody much better. I'll give him a. And it's Lady Liberty. Justice? Is that justice? Excuse me, sir. Have you that's paid for this dance? Uh, yes. yes. Justice How much did you pay? Exist? We got the deputy discount. Uh, you all have a nice day. A hundred. <laughs> Ooh. Have a nice day. Oh. Have a nice day, everybody. Uh, well. Well, I didn't pay anything, but I'm getting paid a pack of cigarettes uh, well, for playing the nothing, piano. Then, then turn your fucking gaze away. Oh, oh, I'll have oh. To pay you. That's better. You just have wonderful style. Here's oh, a pack of my. cigarettes and the tonic is promised. A pack? Of, this is a fucking single cigarette. Ah, oh, Scout. <clears throat> we have to go yeah. see the Richanzos in less than 10. Could you mm -hmm. get that box of um, bricks together? Yep. Uh, okay. Howdy, Alvin. That's right. He's a howdy. whistler. He'll whistle you away. Not as much Actually, as you me whistle now. me away. 66? <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Uh, you're the 
can look if you want to, handsome. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Hi, oh. Dakota. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this is... Listen, she's going all over the place. Okay. I can't. Well, if you stay on the corner of your eye, you 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 turn away. So those titties all right. can't be seen all right. for free. Yeah. You understand this, right? Do you that love was labor liberty? Scandalous. Or... Liberty? They are premium. That's why they cost so oh, much. Not as much as you, darling. What kind of establishment are you running here? A nice family restaurant. <laughs> can't you tell? Is it true what they say? What do they say? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Did you cut uh, your own hair? No, I doubt it. No, I, I have a guy from Dodge City. Might does it for me. Time to find someone new, I think. <laughs> Um, Terrible. What do you mean? I Terrible. love your hair, deputy stuff. It's so howdy, Wallaby. Good. Thank you. It's very oily. Too. Hello. It just sticks in this howdy. position naturally. Yeah. You don't use I'm just pomade? saying howdy. Oh. Not at all. Hello. Did you get yourself a dance? Well, so you make your own nope. Pomade. Did y'all want he one? He wants one though. Nope. That's right. Why not? Uh, because it's Adelaide. What's your point? You know who this is, right? You know, you're so brave. Yes. I would yeah, I would rather pay a hundred dollars to get her to leave me alone. But wouldn't it? Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. But wouldn't it would be also something to like himself? hold over her, like you had her dance for you? Oh, I'd make sure you got out safe. Think about that. Okay. Well, uh -huh. I I see that, and I raise you this. <laughs> if. Lydia Lewis found out that I bought well, a dance I, for a hundred dollars. I, I understand, but look, listen, listen. Whatever happens in Rhodes stays in Rhodes. That's the saying. No one has yeah, to heard know, that. Jack. Yeah, a little. Yeah, I've secret. heard that saying, Jack. Come on, Jack. I. Come I on. think you just won a hundred dollars. Listen, of course I don't. That's my business, but I'm just yeah. saying this has benefits. Imagine the anguish she's well, going to have to go through to dance for you. Day. Think about that. Yeah, and then Tommy's going to find out. Then Tommy's going to try to hunt Tommy me down. Tommy don't give a fuck. He gets his cut. Mm -hmm. I hope you come <laughs> visit me more often. Come on, I Jack. I like company because you're so handsome and nice. <laughs> no one needs to know. I look would on her know. face. You've the look on her face when she realizes she has to dance for you is gonna be worth the price. Admission, I guarantee you. Things about the game of golf. Various golf? comedic situations. If I based if on I just want to see the look on her face and I don't actually want to dance, can I just pay seventy five dollars instead? No, hundred dollars if you're gonna make her. As I'm gonna have to do over the rest of the fucking day. All right. That sounds. So okay, that's an honestly fair. So all right, hundred dollars, and I'll let her know that you have just a dancer. Then you can uh, just circle that up and then leave just before she starts. You're just so incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Can't. I... <laughs> Take a picture. You... Uh, Listen, he hasn't. I can't afford a fucking camera, right? You know, rare those are. Stop. Keep fucking dancing. Oh, right. Put that into a meaning. You're mysterious, and I like it. So, deputy stump, you gonna save me? <laughs> I got enemies. <laughs> A lot of enemies. All right, boys, get 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 changed. We got other business to attend to. All right. Wow, you're such a strong, brave man. I feel but safe I the already. You come in and we're alone, yeah. What the oh. fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Have over you here? ever shot anybody? Nothing. No, you come with me now. Over to the corner. Well, that's not. You don't prefer, but have you done it? What the fuck is this? Come alone, get a special talk. What is this? I wasn't going to dance for him, but I'm trying to get him to return to the bar because last time that he came in for a dance, I got him to come back with Deputy Stump. See that? He's at the table. All right. You listen here now, all right? What? 
Lol don't get no discounts. If anything, they get fucking charged more. Can the discount be an up in price? Yes, they can do that. Okay, I was just gonna get an account. 125 order for the law. Okay, perfect. Done. All right, I'll pretend like I the price didn't change so that when he comes in next time, I'll say, oh, change in price, and then he'll already be here, so I'll take the dance anyways. All right, but don't be doing a sneaking fucking personal dealings behind my back. No, it was never that. It was a, it was entrapment. He was, you know, he's trying to figure out what's going on behind the scenes. He thinks we're doing underground illegal activities, and he's trying to use me as his puppet. Okay, well, in the meantime, just make as much money off the idiot as you can, all right? I will. I will. I'll uh, use him. Good, good. Take yeah. care, ma'am. I'll miss you, deputies. Have a lovely day, deputies. It was you take wrong. care, Mr. Kid. Ta-ta now. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. Bye, Jesse. Bye, Dakota. Have a I'll lovely think of you. day Thanks now. <sighs> Scumbags. All right. Good job, Adelaide. No spitting. Hey, listen. Ain't no rules for us, all right? <laughs> Ain't no rules for us, man. All in a day's work. <sighs> yeah. You got I need to powder my gotta, face. Yes, yes. Powder your face. You got a big job coming up in about five minutes. Uh, all right. This is going to be great. Powder your little noses. Sure Wash your little handsies and faces. Just not in shit water this time. Thank you. Yeah, please. DC meeting? Yeah, I've, I just gotta get this money from Jack and then we're good to go. Oh, all right. What a day. Yeah. Free dance for Dicenzos? <laughs> Hell fucking no. I'm sure you can. What's going on? Uh, Scout is asking to talk, and then I said, after what? And he said, we're doing a gold drop off. And then I said, am I going with y'all? And he said, I'm sure you can. Now we're here. Yeah, if you want to. It's up to you. Someone uh, has to babysit yeah. Adelaide, though. We can't take her inside. Oh, uh, okay. So who wants to volunteer for that? I'll do it. Uh, she'll, she can do dance with Sierra while we go do that. Not a bad idea, but Dakota's going to be saying. behind if she does that. She can be upset about that. What? what? Dakota, Dakota's not getting left behind. Dakota's coming what? You really think that Adelaide's trusted? If she's going to do some fucking dances, she's going to get oh paid. She's going to pocket all the fucking minutes. money. She's going to pocket all the fucking money. Yeah, that's right. And that's when you come along and take and it. Frisco. That's right. Frisco. Yeah, she made the agreement with her husband. Her right, husband takes right. the cash later on. Sure, I look how much she's got on her first. Yes, good idea. Mm -hmm. Good idea. All right. What do you say? What do you know, dude? Mister Mystical, think of the twenty-two months, my dude. Is he coming back? Did he just fucking leave? He might have just fucked off. Honestly, I hope not, because the RP would be fucking hilarious, man. I get a hundred bucks. He's like perfect. I can't wait here forever for this fucking guy, though. He was walking to the bank when I saw him. Right, but that was a while ago. He should be back by now. Yeah. Eh, he played me? Well, he didn't get nothing out of it. He's probably broke. Yeah, probably. I think he's fucking gone, guys. Pretty sure he fucked off. <laughs> yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's do this deal. Oh, there he is. Aha. Uh, he's canceling. Or you he's canceling. Uh, yeah. The fuck you oh. canceling for? Uh, I'm still spending money here in the form of gambling and buying drinks, but. Giving Adelaide a hundred dollars no, 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 to see no, no, a no, look no, on you, her face. You, you understand? You're giving me the money. 
Okay, well, it ain't worth losing Lydia over because Lydia is gonna find out because Adelaide likes to run her mouth to everyone, and you know this. You think this is something she's gonna brag about? You're not no. Gonna, she's not gonna. It's something she's, she's gonna, gonna complain gonna, about. What if? What if? We made this, we made this advantage. clear. If, Don't get me involved in this, Dakota. I okay, gave him sorry. $30. If he wins $100 and wants to spend it on a dance, that's on him, but I'm not spending any money. We, we, we gotta go. All right. Have fun at playing uh, Blackjack. Sorry, Wallaby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack, I'll telegram you, okay? Sorry. Cancellation fee. I think fee. we should make him pay some money to uh, cancel. Cancellation fee. Like $10, $20. You know what? Go do that. I... <laughs> Wait, well, made a fucking it's not gonna work. Idea. It's not gonna work. Then why'd you bring There's it up? No I just thought it might be, yeah, it could work. <laughs> uh, how much should we sell the gold bars for again? They get a bond for like fucking sixty, right? And all that right? stuff going in order to uh, officially process that. It's gonna take some time. I could work on it though. All right. All right, get it up. Mama Lua, 75? Is that what we sold it for last time? I got a telegram. I don't remember if that's what we sold it for. They're not going to want to pay 75. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we get out of it. We'll, we'll haggle. We'll haggle. Remember back in the Baz days, man, they used to buy them for a hundred each. Do you remember that? Golden age, man. Hundred dollars per. That Effie used to buy for a hundred as well. That was actually the Effie era was the best because she was she was buying them so often. Remember Jack gave Baz the first bar? Yeah, yeah. The first gold bar I ever had was given to me by Jack Kettleman. Yeah. That was a big deal because back then, like $100, like getting 100 bucks back then was like, wow, that's a lot of fucking money. Like we take money a little bit for granted now because much money we've made. But uh, when you first start on the server, dude, like getting $100 is, is pretty big. We gotta see Harry. We got too much fucking money on us. You miss Pete? Oh, he'll be back, dude. He's just feeling sick. And yeah, we're a little bit late. But when aren't Dicenzo's late? You know what I mean? So, yeah, it is what it is. If you want to come inside, uh, they're just having a little private uh, standoff meeting hey. over there. They'll be over real soon. Oh, right, right. Yeah, sure. Not a problem. Yeah, you, you can stay in here or you can stay outside. It's completely up to you. Yeah, right, we'll, we'll go inside. Not a problem. Yeah, for sure. How you doing, Pearly? What are you here? What are you, sir? Good evening. Yeah, I think you remember house rules and shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. If you'd like to uh, just wait in here for a moment, we'll be with you momentarily. We won't, we, we won't keep wait. Fuck, I can't fucking do it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I understand, I understand. We won't wait. Keep you yeah. waiting long. Yeah, yeah. You still fucked it up. <laughs> Thank you.
hats your toe. Oh, we have 11, by the way. Bummer. Oh, oh, what do you hear? What do you say? I'm here. Ah, how you doing? Good, good, good. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's everybody doing, eh? Doing fantastic. How are you? doing good. Yeah, let me get my coat up. Uh, doing yeah. well, doing well. How's business for you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. You know, we're... Uh, we're keeping it, keeping it hard, strong. Of course, of course. Ah, uh, wording. Yeah, wording. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> so we got some business for you, and then maybe, man, you can step to a side. You know, have a little conversation you wanted. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, come into the office. Uh, apparently, once. Yeah. Uh, actually, Effie, Effie, why don't you inspect the box over there and, uh, you know, get get the numbers out of all of that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Excuse Thanks. me. How's business with you? I, uh, well, I, uh, Pete just reached out to me for some, uh, some product. Uh, I assume that's what's in the box, correct? Ah, uh, yeah, some of that. All right. Okay. You want a cigarette, some coffee, pomade? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, uh, I've got everything I need. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Sounds good. So... Before we get to uh, what I wanted to talk about, did you uh, do you have anything on your on your mind? Ah, uh, well, I heard the meeting went well, uh, and you had peaches uh, take my place. Yes. Yes. Yeah, surprisingly, she did actually uh, fantastic. Uh, right, Sunny? Really? No, she did great. Mm -hmm. her, her inputs were uh, were fair. And uh, I, I'd say probably uh, along the uh, interest of the dead end gang, so yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's good. That's good. I uh, apologize I couldn't attend. I had my hands full. You know yeah. how it'd be sometimes. Yeah, it was unfortunate that you weren't there. I hope you don't mind me uh, pressing peaches a little bit. Uh, Get a better understanding of the situation. No. She didn't really tell me much. No, 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 no. That's, Just that's, that that's uh, right. we're friends. So. Right. So that's. I mean, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, I hate to see the group fall apart. It doesn't seem that's like that's the case. But uh, what about Edwin? Edwin's taking some leave. So we really didn't number on So boring. So boring. Did he just pass out? He did. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Glad to see you out, out and about. Mm -hmm. Thought you'd be in there for longer, actually. Yeah, so did I, but, you know, that was inevitable. Can't complain, I suppose. But, um, that place that had you in, that was absolutely fucking terrible. It's pure misery down there. Oh, I don't know about that. You get used to it after a while. Becomes like a second home. Maybe. Maybe. You look a little different, kid. I think it's maybe time I stop calling you, kid. Oh, we all gotta grow up sometime, right? But I'm still the Wallaby kid. Yeah, yeah, that you are, that you are. Some. Um, do you have any new faces? Because uh, I'm, I'm, ba I'm bad with faces, I'm sorry. No, 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 we're the same. Okay. Maybe some new additions coming. Maybe not. Time will tell. Everyone say you um, know. Okay. Y'all heard from uh that that boy Lenny. You you remember last time we spoke over there at the uh, the slaughterhouse? Uh no, he's uh I saw him quite a bit, but I haven't seen him for a long time. Perhaps he mm -hmm. fled. 
Maybe so. He's a troubled fella, him. I say this putting it lightly. Yeah. It's a shame if he is gone. Doesn't get what he fucking deserves, but knowing him, I'm sure he will uh, get it from somebody else in due time. I heard you, uh, you were inebriated on Friday. Is that right? Inebriated. Yeah, I had on. a little bit to drink, yes. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is that a problem? No, no, it's just I've never... Never seen you drunk, I think. I've never seen you drunk, neither. I'm sure you do. Oh, right, right. You see, but but you you realize why I'm curious, right? I mean, it'd be interesting to see you drunk, as I'm sure you'd be surprised to see me drunk, right? Maybe. I guess. I don't know. I suppose so. I'm really bad at small talk. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's, it's fucking terrible, isn't it? It's been raining a lot recently. <laughs> um, That's just very weird been. to come up to someone yeah. and be like, I heard you were drunk. <laughs> yeah, well, I just, all right, my bad. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Excuse his hair. But you, you had to be that guy, huh? You're right. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> I have to take a seat for a moment. Uh huh. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, you're getting there. In age, you should sit down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe rain. Ah, uh, shit. So, where were we? I don't remember. Um. Oh right, Peaches, Eddie, Eddie took his Edwin. leave. Yeah. So he's out. For now. He's taking a break. Shit. In the meantime, I'm uh, putting things back together. Everything is as it was. Business as usual. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that uh, that happened. Uh, did anybody else go with him, or is it was it just him? Just him. But we're fine. These things happen. Okay. You have family. You know how it is. Absolutely. Little squabbles here and there. You deal with it. You move on. Yeah. A family that doesn't have internal uh, quarrels. In a real family. That's right. But I, I assure question. you, I am. Uh, I got it all under control. Yeah. Good, good. I got a question about Edwin. You know, we um. We got a pretty rough history with him and his family, his bloodline. Last time we spoke, he uh. He didn't say much. You know anything about that? You know if he has any issues with this still? Any grudges? Eddie is Eddie. It's uh, impossible to put a finger on exactly what he's thinking or feeling. But I assure you, if he had a problem with you, you'd fucking know. He isn't one to be subtle. Hmm. And just to be clear, I'm not insinuating anything, but he's still my brother. 
regardless if he's with me or not. Understood. I could say for a fact that uh, we have no issues with him. In fact, if he would require maybe a talk with us, we'd be more than happy to do so to fix any burnt bridges of any sort. But, um... Yeah, he's not gonna care about that, man. Should there be any problems in the future, we'll, uh, we'll respect the fact <laughs> that you two are, uh, are very close. And you'll be the first to know before anything happens. If anything happens. Again, very unlikely. I'll be sure to let him know. All right. So, uh, business. I'm sure you looked up the merchandise. It isn't a lot, but it's something. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Effie, um, what are we looking at? They have 11 bars. Holy shit. What the fuck? Yeah, it's been a slow week. Well, quite the country. That's, that's, that's a whole land. You rob all the fucking banks in the goddamn crossing or when? Oh, almost. Ah, uh, so the usual 80 apiece, right? <laughs> ah. What? Leave it with 60. No, 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 no. We, we, we don't do 60 no more, remember? Yeah, I'll be kind enough to bring it up to 65. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be kind enough to drop it down to 78. Now you're pushing it, but maybe we could do a uh, 68. No problem. Yeah, you see, the thing is here, Cesar, is that banks aren't what they used to be. You gotta understand, the law have swelled in number. They are a fucking force to be reckoned with. And when they see my gang, they shoot to fucking kill. The one banks ain't no easy work no more. 75. Seventy-five. All right. Apologies. Deal. 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 Okay. Eleven bars, seventy-five. How much is that uh, amount to? What? Uh, eight. Uh, eight hundred. Uh, eight. Eight twenty-five. I believe it is. That's right. Yeah. yeah okay. Eight twenty-five. Okay. All right. Wet your beak a little bit. We'll round it up to eight fifty. Huh? Does that sound good? You know what? That's very kind of you, Cesare. All right. Sure thing, no problem. Let me, um... Let me get the money. I'll be right back then, all right? Yeah, yeah, we'll be in the, uh, near the fireplace. Okay, uh, if you see anything sticky around there, anything... You know what? We'll go, or... to, we'll go to the Take backyard. Me, if that's all right. Okay, but that's, that, <laughs> yeah. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> How much of a um, <laughs> how do I put this? An overwhelming force, you know, that could be. Uh, Effie, with me. The fuck, were they talking about in there? Slow week, huh? That's right. Yeah, I yeah. intend to fix that, though. See, um, ain't no luck with them pumps, huh? You know what? I have mm. found every single gun two times over. I haven't seen a single fucking pump. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. If you want, I can give you a, a dirty one, maybe. You know what? I was thinking about that. You, you got a dirty one right now? I don't, but I can get one, probably. So we was talking for the clean one, we said two 2,000. Uh, two, uh, 2.5. Nah, I believe it was two that we shook on. I thought it was 2.5. Well, you know, inflation. <laughs> right. So how about we we could do, for a dirty one, say 1.5. All right. Uh, live with me. I'll try to get you a dirty one. I do plan to be doing right. another bank in the coming days, though. So, if, you know, if we find a clean, I'll let you know as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ain't no rush with it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, of course. But uh, just so you know. I'm not holding out on you, it just hasn't been found yet. Yeah, no, you, your word has always been good. Ain't no issue with that. Fantastic. 
Uh, how, how's things been for you? You're looking, uh... Well, yeah, you're looking. Can't really complain. We got new law in Saturday now. They got the, uh... What's that? Um, we got Brooks and Roof down here in the oh, Maple. Fuck. So you know. You know what? That's enough to keep me away from Saint Denis. Fuck that. There you go. They they been going around crazy. But shit, the, the two nights ago we had an hour long argument over there at the Telegram station about some fucking speeding tickets and shit. Right. It gets more more petty by the day, you know. You know, there's uh, there's a lot of law that uh. Yeah, they get targeted for doing their job, right? Mm -hmm. I don't always agree on it. But there's certain, certain people, they just... They just fucking deserve it, you know? And those three, they're on that list. Yeah, see, see, I was confused too, because back in the day, I remember Maple. And I always figured he was alright. But then what I seen the other day was fucking... The, that he whole he switched up so goddamn much. Oh yeah, he's become a complete asshole. Mm -hmm. He was bragging about the fact that he's the one that uh that taught them to Ruth and Brooks. He's bragging that he taught them to be an asshole. I guess so. Oh wow, well, what an achievement! He, he, he said he trained them. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I guess that guarantees their fate then. Mm hmm. Forever a deputy till they get fucking killed. Whose horse is this? I think that's my I horse, and no I don't idea. know why. Interesting. Horse? What are you you're making us look bad over here? Get rid of the horse. Get on her little horse. He's got a pump shock on his back. D dirt, dirty pumps go for like 4,000. I know, but there's history there. I owe him uh, a few thousand dollars compensation for something back in the day, and we made a deal. Mm -mm. Is that a clean shotgun? Not clean oh, no. anymore. Yeah, we have my have name on it. About Marty Ooh, oh, shit. Damn it. Break something? Sorry. Out, fucking told. When'd you get that? Ages ago. From one of our banks? No. Okay, this is, I, I, I bought it from Flood. I thought you were fucking holding out on me. Uh, so, I bought it saying? from Flood. Yeah, Marty Malone. I seen him today. He said he had stepped down from being the sheriff of Santa Anita. Well, do you know about that? Uh, yeah, he killed somebody. He killed somebody. Yeah, he killed somebody. I don't know the details, but I know that he, uh, he beat the fuck out of someone till they died when they were unarmed and begging for mercy. Jesus Christ. Uh, just an, I guess another he, day uh, of protecting and serving. Uh, of course, he has to go to jail. He just gets demoted. All right. Well, that explains it. I don't think they have a, do they have a sheriff in San Anita? Or no? Right now? Um, yeah. Probably maybe. throwing Guarma. Thank fuck, we should throw a party. I I do uh, my sympathies for having to deal with Roof Thank and all you. that. I'll hand it over to Wolby. Yeah, yeah. They implemented a, a speed limit in San too. You go any faster than a than a light cannon, and uh, they 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 give you a ticket. That sounds fucking horrific. I I. I don't envy you. Yeah. Make sure you Sorry. run as fast as you can, right? Oh, yeah. I, 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 I'm putting money to the side just so I can throw it, throw it <laughs> at him, you know? Yeah, let him chase you, you know, chase you around and write reports. Mm -hmm. Fuck him. Yeah, they've been getting fucking crazy around here. I don't know what they're, what's going on, but uh, yeah, pretty nuts. All right. Um, well, we'll get out of your hair. Unless there's any other business to talk about. Nah, you've been uh, getting my telegrams on uh, on Speedy, right? I have been. I haven't responded, but I do appreciate the uh, updates. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, just curious if you want us to keep doing that or not. <sighs> you know, in light of current events, I've got my hands full. He's uh, not worth any of our time, realistically. I'm happy with... The blacklisting, and we leave out that for now. Okay, you can always uh, get us to do it. You know, we'll talk business, but uh, we might catch him at later hours. You might not expect a hit from us directly. Just let us know. Think about it. Not a bad idea. I'll get back to you on it. Yeah. All right. Pleasure doing business. Right? You of take course. care of yourselves. As always. Oh, 
one more thing. I told Scout yesterday, because uh, I know Pete just got picked up. If you guys got uh, an order and you guys, you know, just freshly came out of a bank job or something, we'll come to you and, uh, you know, we'll bring you the money and all that. That way you guys don't have to risk coming to the backyard over here or anything like that, all right, to the docks. It's very generous of you. Thank you so, thank you so much. You've all been so kind. All right. Yeah, no problem at all. Take right. care, kid. Yeah, look after yourselves. Take it easy. Take it easy. Gentlemen. Good luck with the, yeah. uh, the other route. Take, take care. care. Sticky substance. Take care. Take care. Yeah. You tell about Spumoni by any chance, Pearly? Uh, no. I got your telegram about it. I'll oh, let hey, you good, know. Man. Thanks. All right, we gotta find Harry. All right. We got a good, we got a good relationship with the Dicenzos, man, which I think is important. You gotta have, you know, a close relationship with at least one gang. I feel like. In group. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna offload that in a minute anyway, so. Gotta get a total. 850, nice. So we're looking at 3.5. Beautiful. Here we go. Fantastic. Hat. Oh, well, you know what? I can just go. Boop. <laughs> I had a spare one, man. I swear to God. I swear to God. You left your Oh shit. Oh fuck, you're right. I did. Damn it. We forgot our shit. I recommend a foldable hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're right. My apologies. What's that? Here's a ticket for me. Oh, thank you. Right. Have a lovely day now. You too. By the way, I love the mm -hmm. shirt. I haven't seen that Thank one. You. Gorgeous. You liked it last time too. I remembered. Maybe I just like you. <laughs> Alright. Alvin's checking his telegrams. Ah, uh, yeah, I want to do that too. Uh. Today's been fun. I think I think we've put out quite a few fires, but it's not like they're not out. I, I think I think the best way of like describing it is that we're we're managing it as best as we can. Coal is still hot. Oh yeah, there's still flames, but we're uh, we're controlling the burn right now. It could go crazy at any moment. I don't know what Smokey has in store for Eddie. I'm a little I'm a little thrown back at like he was nice, but I don't know if that was for real or not. Like I can't tell with him. Thank you. Uh, hello, Dakota. Are you sending the tip or am I? Up to you. Thank you for being with in the room today. I'm very happy to hear about you and your friends turning over a new leaf. As I said before, feel free to reach out. Yep, yep, yep. Wish you the best of luck. Okay, cool. Timmy. Howdy, Wallaby. Irene said you're looking for me. I'm around if you need me to do some work for you. Sign. Okay, cool. Wallaby. Meet me at Rhodes Saloon. All right, let's get some work done, man. We need some... Uh, we need some... We need some fucking guns. That's what we need.
we'll get Timmy to do it, maybe. I don't know if he's ready, though. Well, he's probably not. Can we rob today? I mean, I don't want, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to rob, but we can definitely, we can definitely get someone to rob for us. I kind of like the idea of, of running the saloon and in the background, like running criminal activity. You know what I mean? I think it's a, it's a nice change of pace for us. I want Eddie to come back, man. I do. Like the mob. Uh, yes, but we're definitely gonna rob banks. Like we're gonna be, we're gonna be active doing shit. It just is gonna take some time to uh to make it have to have it make sense for Wallaby to start getting involved in banks and shit. I'm just going to see if, uh, if Harry is here and I'll come back to the saloon. talk to you for a moment yeah okay you've never been arrested right no i've never been arrested you're a solid citizen yes i guess so you got a good standing with the bank yeah i don't, I don't have anything in there but a double action all right that's, that's nice that's nice i want to offer you something i want to give you a bit of a promotion as a uh I'm sorry for what happened. Really? Yeah. More responsibility. How's that make you feel? Really? Yes. Okay. All right. Here's what I want you to do. And it's very simple. It's very easy. All right. All right. Oh, I have a lot of money. I have too much money to even hold. Right. And because okay. I've been a bad, bad boy. The bank doesn't like taking my money anymore. So what I'm going to get you to do is... I'm going to hand you money. All I want you to do is put it into your bank and let it sit there. If you do that, I will give you $100 a week allowance to spend on whatever you like. Really? Yes. How's that make that'll you? How, how's that your boat? That'll only take me three weeks to fix up my double action to make it look real pretty. That's right, that's right, yeah, goals and all that. Um, I got some money on me right now. I'd like to take you to the bank and, you know, be there for you to deposit for the very first time. Okay. Yes, yes, come. <laughs> I like this character. After all, it's your wife. It is your wife. Yeah, but that doesn't make that doesn't automatically make me trust her, man. She's just as easily can screw me over as anybody else. In fact, maybe more so. I right, jump on the back of the horse now. You guys haven't watched many of my series, now have you? <laughs> all right. So what I'm gonna do is every now and again I'm gonna give you a big fat envelope. All right. Um, okay. Your job is to not ask any questions about where it came from. You just take the big fat envelope, you go to the bank and you deposit it, alright? Well, I just I just assume that you, all the money you get is from when all the banks that you rob. That's right, that's right. But if you don't know about it, you know, if the law the law asks you questions, you know you, you you know, you truly don't know, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, I don't know. I already told them that I just live at the slaughterhouse because exactly. they thought I was a part of the gang. That's right. You just clean up the place. That's right. That's right. 
And if anyone asks any questions, it's, it's saloon money, all right? It's the money that we make from the saloon. Yeah, I can do that. That's a do you want me to? Do you want me to keep a book? I can keep a no, book no, if no, ever. No, no. Oh, you know what? Yeah, if you can make up some bullshit, like drinks and dances, and just make it look like yeah, yeah, do that. No, I meant like a secret book. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a secret book. That's that's fine. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I want to keep track on things, so yes, do that. But make sure okay. you keep that hidden. Make sure you keep that fucking hidden. All right, come yeah, on. I got a, I got a really good spot. Lovely. Come on. Inside the west, which that man did all the goddamn damage himself. Hello, hello. It's a goddamn shame. Hello there. Oh, hello, hello there, lovely. Aren't you? It's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, all right. Well. I'll be in contact with you soon, but thank you again for the help with this event. I appreciate your time. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, just uh, just put that in the bank. I'll see you later. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Olive. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Hey, pardon me, fellas. <laughs> oh, fay. I oh, fay. Fay. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, no okay. All right. Well, you two be well. All right. I'm gonna pull at Wallaby's ear because it looks like a nice ear to pull on. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> there we go. Have a good night, Wallaby. Very, See you, yeah, you too. Thank you very much, Harry. You did a fantastic job. Thank you. Alright. Are you gonna give me a ride back I, to the slaughterhouse? Uh, uh, I can't. I have a little discussion here. But uh, I'll see you later, alright? Okay, I'll walk. Um... Take my horse. It's out front. Mr. Uh, okay. Way, what can I do for you? Hello there, Wallaby. How you been? Uh, busy but good. Busy but good. I'm glad to hear that you've been oh. good and I'm glad to hear that you've been busy. Yeah, what about Wished yourself? You the... I've been, you know, here or there, busy for sure. And uh, yeah. I think that me and you both have a little bit in common in the essence of dealing with trash on the inside. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I, I guess it depends who you're talking about. No, let's not go ahead and beat the elephant in the room. I speak of speed, eh? Oh, right, right. Yeah, well, you know, these things happen. I heard that you had a bit of a... a problem with your friend. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. And, uh, may I ask, what do you know about Speedy? Well, I know enough. I know enough to... the those where... The understanding where you might have initial with him. And if I were honest with you, he has reached out to me asking about information that I might know. And I've given him nothing due to the involvement with us in the syndicate. Information One body. about what? One mind. He wanted to know information about what was happening inside the city. Because he was under the impression he had no idea why the hell he was being branded a rat. Oh, right, right, right. Of course. Right. Yeah, so he was trying to get information from me, and I said, I know nothing about what the hell you were even fucking talking about. <laughs> we hadn't even met yet to really understand much. I had to learn to the grapevine by asking Scout, and of course following the politics of the crossing. With that being said, um, I, if there is any information that comes from me from Speedy or whatever, what are you wanting to know? I was going to ask this during the meeting up, but Unfortunately, we're not there for the syndicate meeting. What is it that Taiping can do for you? Honestly, he's not my concern at the moment. If he's blacklisted in business out here in the East, I think that's good enough. Okay. But we're into here. And if you but hear did... anything, he starts, you know, creeping about, whispering things. I'd like to know. I'll make sure I'm in contact with you immediately, dear sir. My due diligence, not only the responsibility of the syndicate, but as well as to us. Of course. And what can I do for you in return? Nothing. Hmm? Mr. Wallaby, nothing. Actually, I wanted to pull your ear not only about that, but um, a little bit more happier, though, if you want. All right. Taipan is getting ready to host a very large auction. Ooh. A very large one. Ooh. And I wanted to invite one or two of your representatives from your group to Ooh. come be a part of it. Maybe even play some bids. But oh, we're talking about 
guns from Mausers, Elephant Guns, Springfields, the Pump Action Truck Guns, the entire meal. Ooh. When's that for? And the one, it's going to be on the 14th. 14th. It's Tuesday next week. And it's going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern Stars. It's oh, going yeah. to be a private event. And all the invitations that we are, we are telling people are all in person. I, I am not going to have this be usurped by anyone. But I want to make sure that my neighbors get the first invitation. You know what? That sounds fantastic. I'd love to go. Brilliant. We would love to have you. If you would like to come and one more person as well, um, as long as they are bidding, they can be there. But uh, we're trying to make sure that we can keep um, the, the deepest and most interested pockets with Inside the Crossing, if you want. Of course, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we can, uh, I can do that. Not a problem. Brilliant. I will make sure that me and mine reach out to you the week before on that Monday, and we will confirm the time um, and place that uh, the day are for the day before. Okay? Too easy. Too easy. Absolutely. But thank you for allowing me to pull at your ear there, Mr. Wannabe. Not I appreciate it. No problem. That. Just don't pull it like that again, otherwise I'm going to have to smear you over the map. <laughs> Hot on now. We will, sir. Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Once there was a way... If it wasn't for the syndicate, yeah, uh, dude, yeah. Absolutely. If, if we weren't part no syndicate, we'd rob that event for sure, bro. For sure. The fuck is going on here? I mean, I he, if he's drunk, he might accept it. Uh, Timmy's inside playing the piano. All right. Why are we not inside serving drinks and... uh? Shaking tail. Well, My we all were. My sister is about? losing oh, yeah, her okay. mind. Yeah. Well, she, she ha she, listen. She's she's had lost her mind in a while for quite a while, all right, Adelaide. So don't act so surprised. Oh. What the fuck? Yes. Just the front door. Why can't I hear music, game. man? Well, they, they pay me pretty well if I, you know, don't say so myself. Very well, handsomely is the word I'd put it. Wallaby! Hey, it's good to see you, pal! Timmy, how you doing? What do you think? <laughs> Just... Yeah. Who's this, uh... Hey, you all right, my dear. How's your luck feeling? Name's Maeve. I run the roadhouse. Oh, I guess we both do. A little lucky. I suppose case. Yeah, what time are you around usually? A little lucky, huh? Just a little bit. Well, by your stars, the evening. Wow. So I suppose we stay out of each other's way. That's right. Oh, my name's Wallaby, and guess what? I run the roadhouse. A little insulting, you know. I know it's been a long time. Business partners! That's right. That way we got business around the clock. Good job, Timmy. Thank you, Scout. Bish bash bosh. Eight Marvelous, it's always good to have business partners. Amazing content. I'm sure we'll all work together fa famously. That's right. We won't have any problems now, are we? No problems. No problems. Stump probably don't recognize me because he was about a quarter mile off the last time we shot at one another. That's right. I remember this crazy man. This man stomp was out I don't see blast. any problems. Well, lovely. That's exactly what I want to hear. We can live in harmony. Though I would like to talk to your um, co-owner, Edwin. Edwin's on vacation. He won't be around for a while. Wait, what? Ooh, that doesn't go well with my Jenny. Oh, Deputy's I... getting robbed How upstairs. Else am I to Just so you're aware. Oh, fuck me. Maybe. How about you uh, disarm Stumpy? Come on, come on, folks. We're going to be leaving. Saloon. I get 
We're trying to be leaving very quickly. Fucking Don't you worry. Christ. They're robbing us. Come on. Who the fuck Let's is that? Let's back. I don't know. Hey, you're making our fucking oh, no. saloon look bad. What the fuck are you doing? Taking a couple of deputies. It's no big deal. Hey, not in this establishment, you ain't. Huh. There's an interesting hill to die on. Oh, I'm not gonna die on it, but I can kick them out, and you can do what you want after they're kicked out. Sure, you want to uh, kick them out? Yes, first? formally. Yes, put your fucking hands down for a second. Let me kick them out. Okay, sure. Jane. All right. Come to the door. Sure. Come to the door. All right, come here. To the stairs. Go to the stairs. Oh, my Swindler. apologies. What's with the big voice thing? Hey, hey, hey. All right, there. Stop. Stop. All right, get out of my establishment. All right, now do what you fucking get. want. What? So That's fucking tiring on this goddamn here. joint. Unbelievable. From people at our fucking establishment. Good way to handle it. <laughs> you gotta find a middle ground with these people. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Stewart starring in The Man Who Shot Richard Eastwick. Loving your stream, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. Like the three months. Alright. What, so what, what song is this? I, I can't even hear it. The Raven singing! <laughs> I thought you were taking the day off. I'm singing. I can't dance though. Cause she's, she's, you can't dance. These are the songs she no, sings sing, it in the morning. Though. All right, all right. Oh, beautiful. all right. Ah, that's sorted. <laughs> yeah, I must that was admit good. that was a good way to handle that. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, so what what can we do? Like we gotta we gotta work out the details here. I suppose both of us are keeping out of each other's ways. Right. I swear that my voice sounds a little bit more high pitched. In my hours, I won't be pushing aside any of your crew. In return, you don't push aside any of mine. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Who works for you? A man named Quentin. Uh huh. A man named Alec. Uh huh. And a Sicilian called Denny. Denny. All right. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, Denny, go way back. Uh, give me one second. Uh, Scout, come here for one moment. Uh huh. I'm giving them a head start. I need you to go down to the telegram office and send a telegram to law. Oh, Jesus, great. Let them know oh, that yeah. some law got taken from uh, the saloon here and uh, oh, mark it as uh, the wandering hey, whistle. That way they can't charge us no fucking obstruction of justice bullshit. Okay. The okay. wet whistle. Got it. You're the one with the telegram. I thought it was the right wandering. In. Oh, fuck it. Uh, who knows? Okay, I'll All right, Maeve. What if I bought you up? Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Man. Smooth, Wallaby. <laughs> Shop. Okay. Let's get down to the brass tax. Everyone has a price, Maeve. How about this? I buy up your percentage. You can still work here with you and your people. You can run the bar. That way, your team. Becomes our team. I'll take care of uh, expenses, food, and whatnot. All you got to worry about is uh, running the bar. We could be friends. I'm quite fine with my current arrangement. I don't see any reason for us to be enemies. Oh, no, of course we're not enemies. Of course not. I have particular sponsors for my side of the bar that I need to discuss these matters with. Of course. I understand that. Business is business. 
But if they do agree, you come to me with a price. We'll talk about it. I'll consider it. Wonderful. All right. Well, uh, excuse me a moment. I got some other business to attend to. Two fingers, there we go. Simbo went to hell. Miss Susie sat upon it. Oh, the wallaby. Oh, sorry, and I didn't. Rang a little bell. Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, I kind of lost myself there. Uh -huh. in that moment. I'm getting better. You're, yeah, you're doing swell. Swell. The piano is glitched for me, man. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, right here. <laughs> it's so much fun. You're <laughs> doing great, Raven. Mr. Hollaby. How you doing over there? Brave! Brave! I'm getting better. Brave. Right, right. Get over yeah, here. Oh, 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 yeah, right, very right. nice, Raven. Very nice. Excuse me. Right. Uh, I'll uh, be but a moment. <laughs> I'm doing so good. Oh, once you're done with this, I just want to we can talk with you quick. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right, Timmy, we got some work to do tonight. Oh, right, of course. So I need There's to get always your, work to be done. Get your little notepad out. Give me, oh, right. Your little notepad. I want you to. I want you to write this down. I want you to get some new clothes. Okay, new clothes. Yes, I want you to wear something dark. Dark shirt. Dark vest. A coat, long pants, dark shoes, a dark hat, and a nice black bandana they can put on your face, right? All right, uh, so dark everything. Got just, it. That's right. That's just imagine you you decided to live out west and just dress that way and come back up here, all right? No, oh, uh, of course. You I'll have be the money. back in a moment. Uh, yes, I've got the money. Good boy. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. What's going on? Uh, same folk. With the same people. I, I don't know what they're doing. They're getting in a wagon, maybe? Is that the, uh, the law they took from here? Uh, it seems so. Are they breaking someone out, maybe? Uh, I thought there was... Uh, let's, have, uh, let's, let's, let's watch this for a second. Is this a breakout? I think it is. What a mess. Oh man, breakouts are such a finicky thing, man. It's like... I mean, I love, I, I'd love i love to be doing breakouts, but I, I always feel fucking guilty, man. I can't, I can't. Road is popping. Of course it's popping, man. Around the goddamn best saloon in the goddamn country over here. I mean, what could they really charge me for? I guess assault by tossing him? That'd be a stretch, though. But I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, but yeah, it's casings, but maybe not. Stuff, maybe. But they have one still, Valentine. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. One of them shot at something. I don't know if it's the ground or accident. Uh, yeah, it's fucking bullshit. In our fucking town, this bullshit. Mm -hmm. This is bad for business, this is. Uh, I'm just saying, they owe us one from what we did at Emerald. They fucking do owe us one, you're right. Should take this fucking shit out of town. People are gonna ride in here and be like, nope. And just bypass. Mm hmm. Hey! Adelaide! Yeah? Get your fucking butt back in the saloon! Because people have to see you and what's going on with you, that's why. They ain't gonna come in here with this going on. Well, they're not gonna go in there when Noah's in there, neither. Uh, oh, oh well. I'll go back in there. Yeah, yeah, you keep her company. Unbelievable. Your hat's crooked. <laughs> yeah, well, so is your nose. <laughs> that's funny.
And so that's the problem with people. You get these employers and they just say, I don't know how to keep the nose out of other people's business. You know what I'm talking about? We're snooping yeah, about absolutely. watching things. <laughs> Good for nothing. I don't know why they got Stump hiding in there like a little little rat. Where is he? He's in, in the sheriff's the station, staring out the he window. He ran through the window. <laughs> Get him out there. Arm the man. Ah, that's a little weird. Oh, here we go. I've got a deputy coming here to tell us to disperse. Watch this bullshit. I've got to disperse into the saloon. You know what? Fuck this. Can I flip him off? Yeah, you know what? You can spit in his face. <laughs> Uh, we need to get here like twist all of you to get out of town. Uh, we, we, we work here. Trouble healing so. everyone. We, 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 oh, right, right, right. I see. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Fuck. All right. Mm -hmm. Fine. The good day is. Ah, uh, goddamn bubbles. There's 30 people that in town. Are you kidding me? will forever be the deputy who got kicked in the dick. Yeah, he doesn't have a name. Howdy. All right, we're evacuating the premises. Let's go. What the hell? It's uh getting a little dusty. You don't want to get no dust in your eye. Come on. That's the way on the back good. of my yeah, horse. Was that was good. Uh, thank you. Hey, you practicing uh, your tongue tricks? Way, uh, way from Taipan I was in the telegram office and wanted to meet with you at some point. Already done that. Yeah, like in the next week. Oh, all right. He told me when I went down there. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. So right. I don't, I don't know. Spoke to him like ten minutes ago. Uh, wallaby. Yeah. Where'd you get that hair? This what? I want that hair. Where'd you get it? The hair? The hair. The hat. It's my. No, you're not oh, taking this fucking hat. Fresh. Fuck off. No, I just. I, I asked where you got it. I, 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 uh, I, I bought you? the hat, then I put the uh, the fur on it myself. You did? Uh, no, that's right. Now, if I I'll give you, you I'll give you my flower. Let me just let me no. have your hat. You have my flower. I'll yeah. give you my hat. No, thank you Please. very much, Raven, but I'm going to have to decline. I'll give you money for um, it. Wa Wallaby? Yeah. My sister's going yeah, through no it, and um, she's quite lonely. And uh, she'd like to. I feel like, you know. We need you guys to leave town immediately. Can, we have a situation. We are I literally mean, doing there's, that. There's, I know. All right. We're, dust in the town. we're going. We're going. We, we heard you. Yeah, we get it. Jesus fucking oh. Christ. I can't, Rada. I'll just walk behind you. We gotta Timmy. go. Get your horse. Where's Timmy? Shit. Shit. Jump, you fucking thing. Oh, my God. Uh. Ah. Baby, come back. I gotta go get my horse, man. Cause this is definitely not my horse. You gotta swap up your saddle or something. All right. So leaving Timmy, dude. I can't go get him. It's a bubble. All right. I can't do it. Hey, you'll find us, I'm sure. Is there a reason why you changed his voice from the original voice? Yeah, because I couldn't, I, I couldn't age him up and continue to have the kid's voice. And I didn't want to just do my normal voice. I took my horse. Yeah, I know she did. That's why I'm going over here to go get my horse. You didn't take my horse. Well, then who fucking knows where it is? Think of the 18 months, man. Do you remember what episode was it when the kids fell off the bridge? Oh, probably episode like 20-ish. I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't tell you, man. Have no idea. Go to my Discord. Go to the meta chat. I'm sure you'll find out there. They all know everything, man. They know too much. Right, I'm going to get my horse. I'll meet you back here.
Harry's halfway to Guam by now. Oh, better to do it with three grand than fucking 60. For me, at least. Telegram Timmy. I never know Timmy's Telegram, man. you earlier i mean that's true but it's whatever now man okay i want to know what's going on for him I, I, I i'm guessing i'm guessing it's a breakout you just telegrammed him that's true i did <laughs> what a house is that alvin Oh, there he is. It's a dark fucking pants. What is that? Well, if you just start. All right. I don't know. Uh. God damn it. <sighs> a clown bandit. Oh, right, let me say, let me say. It, come on, it isn't that bad, is it's it? It's awful. Well, I mean, well, wait, let me just uh, put on the bandana. Oh, there's more? Yeah, there's more. How does that look? Is it better? Oh, all right, all right. Get, I don't know. Get, get, get the fucking side. No, right. Alvin, you wanted to talk. Oh, I just wanted to see... Oh, you mentioned something about an assignment. I'm about to go hang out with my friend. All right, all right. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you later. Great. Have a lovely day. Oh, get inside. We got her. She's pretty. Who's she? Who's that? I don't uh, know. Audrey, she actually helped on the job yesterday and did a really good job. Huh. All right. We should be a good dad, so. <laughs> I don't know. We're inside. I don't know. I'll probably. Are we coming the half wits? Are we? All right, perfect. Where's that gun I gave you? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, you have it all right, right here. Oh, it's on my horse. I'll go get it. Yeah, go get it. I want to give uh, Timmy a job today. All right. Uh, beating up homeless people? Hobos? No, no, no. Robbery. Oh, okay. Robbery. Right. Robbing the homeless people who no. have nothing. Oh, yep. That's an option. You know what? Thank God I run this fucking gang. Because Dakota, if you're running it, we'd be broke. And we'd be in fucking jail. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Isn't that what happens anyways? Shut up. I don't know. Kidding. I, I can't. <laughs> Just like, you know, you're usually a nice, but now you're, you're becoming a bit of an annoyance. Nice. Uh, I'm sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. I, I have the gun right here. Perfect. Unload it. Un oh, unloaded. Oh, okay. Unloaded. Every bullet out. We're gonna practice something. We're gonna do a, uh, a practice run. Adelaide. Right, right now. All right. Yes. Put the fucking gun in the holster. Are oh. you gonna chase me? No, no, no. Stand here. No, stand here. Stand here. Stand here. Stand here. Face him. Now I want you to pretend to be a damsel in distress on the ground. All right. So. All right. Lay down. Like it. Ah. Stay down. Stay down. Ah. Stay down. All right. I don't think the boot to the head was necessary. Was like, okay, you two sit down. You sit down. You're gonna get out of the way. Okay. All right. I mean, it makes Raven. it look more realistic. Yeah. I want you to pretend that you're riding by and you see Adelaide hurt on the ground. Kevin, right. I want you to hide behind the crate over there. You're right. Now, when you see the person, when you see the person come around and uh, offer help, I'm gonna want you to come out. And I want you to do in your biggest, meanest voice. All right, I don't okay. want you to say, stick him up, you son of a bitch. I'm going to blast your fucking head off. You understand? No, right. I right. understand. All right. Surely this I, will go well. Raven. 
Yes. All right, pretend that you're uh, going to help the hurt person. Make sure you yell so well. Yeah, I'm on a horse. <laughs> no, the, the horse is a fucking. Get the fuck up. Get up. Get up. Get up. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a method actress. What? By l crawling on the ground. Stand over no, her. No, I was moving on. Don't talk to me. Over her and just be like, hey, ma'am, are you alright? And then uh, we'll continue. Hey, ma'am. Hey, ma'am. Are you okay? Oh, help me, help. Oh. I can help now to you. Me. I now. Mean, what, what's going on? Are you all right? Hey, come on. Ah. This is a so wobbly. Oh. Oh, my. That's why you make a wrong move. I'm going to blast your head off. All right. Go, You're gonna now, what? I can't now, hear now, you. Now, what okay? now, 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 what do you do after you've got them with their hands up? I yeah, right. I, I, what do you do? Come on, get up and help. Um, yeah, you go up and help. Your, yes, pull your gun out. Get, but what did he give say, though? No, 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 give me your, your gun. Ask no, no, no. I can't hear you. You said blast my. What? Yeah, I'm gonna blast your head. All right, listen. Okay, listen. Help now. When you have the person yeah. up at gunpoint, you get uh -huh. Adelaide to rob them, and you keep the gun on at all times. You understand? All right, yeah, uh, 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 all right, uh, uh, Toots, you're gonna help me, uh, uh, Toots. Toots. me uh, uh, I'm talking to my friend. Oh, there you, ain't ooh, the there you go. Give me your shit. I don't you're think gonna you're give me your shit. To that way. Perfect, Ouch, perfect. I'm not, uh, you're you ripping my stitches, Adelaide. I'm sorry, sorry. Be a little gentle, there you go. All right. Jesus. Perfect, you know what? That was actually far better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh. Now, mm -hmm. now, do you think you could do that for real? For real? Um, I right. mean, uh, well, I, I, I guess I could. Yeah, I, I think I have what it takes. You know, if, if you fuck this up, Adelaide gets killed, right? Right. Yeah. I'm supposed to trust him with my life? That's um, right. Well, Listen, Timmy is a... Uh, he's, he can put the hands down now. Uh, he's rough uh, around the edges, but he has... Uh, he, he has something, I'm sure. I, 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 I see mean, something. I don't think wow. I'm really rough around the edges. I, I think, for the most part, I think I'm too soft. I, I need to, I need to get harder. That's right. You want right. me to make your heart Wait, okay, yes. all, right, all right, no, no. I can make no, it hard. No, no. Re okay. You know what? Yes, I, I, I understand what you're trying to say. You're, you're just, you're, phrasing would Wait. be... Who's making it? I, I, I need to work on my phrasing. Wallaby Wallaby is, bad timing to wake up. Wallaby's okay. making Timmy hard. No, well, it's not. No, no, I'm gonna make it hard. Hard. That's illegal. Um, oh, for just, fuck's sake. Okay, was... all right, all right. Enough with the hardness, all right? This is what's Look, gonna I happen. Help it. No, this is what's gonna happen. Adelaide okay. and Timmy are gonna do a highway robbery. Yeah. More like a hard way robbery. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Listen, all right? That was just, I misspoke when I said that. Let's not make any jokes about hard. Okay? Well, practice makes perfect. Do it again. No, uh, uh, well, I mean, right, practice one more time. To. I lay it down. One more time. Okay. Oh. All right, let's do it. Run it one more time. All right, I, and uh, go. Uh, hold, hold on, can I, can I improv as well? Do I, can I be someone? You can improv if you like, but don't, don't go too fucking far with it, all right? <gasps> no, I won't, I won't. Okay, who, who do I be? Who do I be? Oh, I don't fucking care. Just do something. I'm going to be Adelaide. Oh, fuck, great. Now to our place. Help. And Help action. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I see that you're falling. Help okay. Me. You need some help? I do. Help oh, you me. look fucked up. Giggle, 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 giggle. <laughs> I do not feel like that. Oh, no, like it's that. like you're bleeding everywhere. <sighs> Tell me all the gossip looks like you're All right, stick them up, twits. This is oh. a wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, bless <laughs> Now you're gonna give really everything you got. I'm pretty sure Adelaide has rounds in her, in her gun. Yeah, it's a shame. All right, fat. Okay, all right, all right. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Now, yep. Now take the mask right. off. Now we're gonna do is find a nice juicy spot to do this, and I know just oh, the spot. Oh, I know. Need a juicy spot. Yeah. Uh, Raven. Mm hmm. No. No, Raven. No. Yeah. Heads down. I know some places. I know a good place. Trust me, I've done it before. All right. Mount up, we're riding out. All right. Load that gun, Timmy. It's good to see you, Irene. Uh, th thanks, boss. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, man, oh, man. What a fucking travesty. But it's so good. <laughs> Is this my horse? Yes. And I can't get on it. Oh, my fucking God. Come on. Son of a bitch. Great, I have to go to the stable. Go! Come on! Get moving! Fucking thing! All right. Well? Take him to the stable. All right. Oh, hi, Raven. Hi, Raven. Ah! Uh, so do I keep going? Oh, that's it. That's the Delaney's. Uh, you know, Tommy and Timmy don't get along very well. Okay. I was thinking, uh, you put them together, make them work together, they'll start getting along, plus get a job done. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Is Tommy around? Uh, hasn't responded to my telegram. Alright. Man, Moon is just, he just logs on every time I'm about to log out, man, I swear to God. Plenty. I've been here for five hours, man. Where is he? Uh, Adelaide, you have a mask. So do I. Adelaide. Yes? Do you have a mask? You're gonna have to get dressed. Something has a mask. Uh, Dakota. Yeah. I'd like you to be there just as backup. If they need a third hand, you can jump out of a bush and help them. All right. If not, you just watch. Okay. All right. What's up, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know where Timmy is, man. <laughs> He's fucking bailed. Oh shit. I'll move Peaches. I don't know where Peaches is either. To be fair. Alright, hopefully this thing in Rhodes is done. St. Denis is very populated. My god! St. Denis, Rhodes, where can we go? Is this them up ahead? Yeah, it's them. Stop here, stop here, stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> Alright, uh, I want Adelaide you have to go ahead, go get your outfit. We're gonna meet right. at, uh, Flat Next Station. Alright. Uh, Timmy. Flat yes. Go with Adelaide, I don't want you seen with us. Mm -hmm. Understood. Flat Next. You stay with me. Okay. Dakota, okay, get dressed.
Do you have a mask? You gonna do it no. with Timmy Peaches? Well, you need a fucking mask. What, do I? Yes. Go get dressed then. Oh, what if I just had balls and said fucking... I don't want him associated with us. Get a fucking mask. Uh, meet you at the flat next. Looks like it's cleared up. man 20 months it's been that long jesus dg 2.0 i mean adelaine on the they're not part of dg at least not yet it's more like tryouts man just trying to figure shit out <sighs> just trying to figure shit out is there a place to find all wild rp streamers i believe there is there's, there's a site or something that can show you everyone that's streaming on wild Hazroot, there you go, that's the one. Hey honey, how Eddie and the game? Hey, Hunter. Uh, yeah, Eddie's doing great. He's doing swell. Gang, I thought this was a social club. Yeah, we get, we're slowly getting into the swing of things, man. Slowly. I wish they weren't caught for the bank robber yesterday, man, because I kind of like the idea of us appearing to not be doing crime for a little while. That looks like everyone's being arrested but me. <laughs> Opinion on other R RDRP servers. Play on other. Uh, I don't have any opinions on other servers. I haven't really played on any other servers, so it'd be a little bit unfair for me to to judge. Come on, horse. Let me hit you. That's someone that loses having surgery tomorrow? No, but I guess they know now. She's just getting desexed. It's nothing huge. The fuck is this guy? Get out of here. Go on, oh, get. Shit. Jesus Christ. All right, he's a witness. To what? I don't know. We wanna go fucking kill him? No. <laughs> you know how much about this Timmy fella? Yeah, know him pretty well. All right. Do you think he has it in him? Uh, yeah, surprisingly so. God. You think oh my god. Going? I just changed. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's got it in him. He's, uh, he's done some banks before. He's done banks? 
Yeah. With whom? Uh, no idea. Huh. Don't know if I know that information or not. Alright. Broomy! Thank you for seven months, mate. How are you doing? Thank you, Broomy. Thank you, guys. Alvin's still on the fence. I talked to him. With what? With, uh... Deciding... Are you serious? Wallaby or Eddie. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know exactly I what him. I had... He said he didn't see Eddie as this killer that everyone said he was, and is starting to witness his, uh, whatever. I, I don't know. Alvin's a bit confusing for me, but well, he's I'm, not I'm trying. He's taking time off, he said, remember? Yeah. Here they come. You can hear him a fucking mile away. It's just me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I love this blue shirt, dude. It's, uh, well, you know. Alright, this is what is I want you to do. This is what I want you to Me? do. I want okay. you to be in the bushes where this happens. And only okay. assist if you feel like they need it. Okay. Alright. Me and Scout will be watching from the distance. Okay. Is Dakota taking part in this? Or is... I think Dakota you're both you the backup. Right yeah, you're the backup, both of y'all. Oh, perfect. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Make sure you're well hidden, though, uh, whoever's hiding, because we ran into somebody doing this exact plan, and they had their three idiots up in the in the hill. We could see them plain yeah, as day. Could, yeah, I've seen, I, I've seen that, too. <laughs> uh, where are we doing this? Cause... Near the, uh, where they chopped down the trees on the way to Strawberry. Oh, okay. We'll say if you can get, you know, maybe a, an old dying horse to put down, it's a lot more convincing. Or just have her horse nearby. Yeah, yeah. Wolves. Wolves. Wolves do hang out there, so. Where are they? Uh, they were taking forever, so I just came. Could have swore I heard Dakota. Did I not hear Dakota? I think he must be here. Scott, did you hear Dakota? Uh, no, I did not. I swear to God, I heard Dakota. It, it was just me. Did I not hear Dakota? I'm hearing things, man. I swear to God, I heard Dakota. Roads temporarily. Uh, the Delobos were deciding to kidnap two deputies and do some other stuff. Ooh, sounds uh -huh. fun. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I woke up to a bunch of gunshots. Oh shit! Really? Wow. Roads. Oh, there you go. Fucking lunatics. Yeah, who would rob a sheriff's office? Is that what they're doing? I think so. Uh, the gunshots were near the sheriff's office. I thought they were trying to break I'd... someone out. Oh, you know what? I, I thought there were six of them in the saloon, though. That's what I was uh, going to say before, but then I retracted because I wasn't sure. i got to be honest. I didn't exactly stop to ask. I kind of just assumed. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Fair enough. What is taking so fucking long? It shouldn't take this fucking long to get new clothes. It's Adelaide. It, it is Adelaide. Are you a little antsy? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm getting a little tired, actually. We can do this another day. Nope. 
committed. They're just doing one and that's it. Won't take long at all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Fuck, I should have got another drink, man. So have you all been up to? Ah, oh, a lot of meetings. Got rid of the bonds and the gold. Oh, great. Perfect. Bank the money. You, uh, with with Harry? Yeah, for now. Okay. See what how she goes with 3,000. I'm good with it. I like Harry. She's, uh, she's been nothing but kind. Cleaning up the slaughterhouse. I can't believe Albert's still 50-50, man. Is what would be said. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure she'd been nothing but kind, but she ain't. Okay, no well, one. she, she, what's the word? Instigates you. I understand that, but you know, she's got a good heart. I think I'm more worried about her spending it all. She seems like a dumb kid, and uh, I don't know if I if I was given a bunch of money, I don't know, I'd do something funny with it. And that's why you're not the bank. I mean, if, when I was a kid, and not now. And that's why you would never have been the bank. Thank you. <laughs> I'd be a lovely bank now. So responsible. I've been very responsible the past couple of days. I'll have you know. How much money you owe to the, the the banks? How much money? Yeah. Uh, ten thousand, I think. Well, that's not that bad, actually. Yeah. All right, they're here. Let's go. Is Raven coming? What the fuck is that about? Uh, I think. Are they friends? If she I guess. does, someone do do should that? stay behind there. Fuck me. It's a lot of people. Like, you know how you look around on your horse? You do that you, yeah, could you tell her? Uh, you, uh, you can be the bad guy. <laughs> thank you. you. Do? Oh my god. <laughs> I did. I'm always the bad guy, Someone right? Lovely. What's up? I said, good one. I wasn't going to do that. It's me every fucking time, or right? I do that. I know. It's to you because I don't want to do yeah, it. No, I'm actually gonna like, excuse me now. Here, all right. Are we good to go? As ready as we'll ever be. All right. Ah, uh, let's go then. I know a spot. down it's a fisherman a uh, fisher person never mind do not worry so yeah it's just a fisherman not not worth our time this robbery and go from there.
if they're ready. Oh, they'll be fine, man. There'll be four of them. It's more than enough to handle whatever. spot to the bushes there to uh all right just help so i want to lay on you on the ground right here right here yep timmy dakota peaches in the bush scout with me all right and uh our peaches and i just sort of watch in case yes if things go so south you jump out and help okay do i put bobo nearby Yes, like you've been attacked by walls. I want you to yell out, I got hit by walls and bullshit like that, all right? All right. All right, Scout, we'll go up top. How do you get back up here? How do you get up there again? This way, right? <laughs> you gotta see this just watching mm -hmm. her down there it brings me great joy look at this Let's get your binoculars and have a look at that yeah i love it. it's very therapeutic yeah I, i've seen this site time and time again <laughs> this is how her and i would go out and rob folk she's flopping around like a fish beautiful uh-huh she's real good at what she does that's right. We use her to uh, her strengths. All right, now we wait. Do we wait or? Is that a fella right there? Yeah. <laughs> Seems that way. Kind of looks like a hobo though. Oh, She's got the horse in a good spot. Okay, someone just came out of the bush for a second. I think that was Timmy, and he's off. Oh fuck's sake. And yeah, I'm enough. pretty sure he ran her over. <laughs> Where the fuck is Timmy? I don't even see him. I, I don't know. That might have been a local. It might have been it's a still, local. It's we, possible. Yeah, we might be fine. She would have gone up, right? Uh, yeah. Timmy is in the bush uh, just below the, the pile of logs up above Adelaide. Can't see him, but... All right. Good, 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 good. And now we wait. I'm gonna get a new. I'm gonna get a drink, guys. It's time to eat. Be right back. Hold. Yeah, last time we did this, the uh, the department showed up, and uh, well, they knew. Got real awkward. I'm back. Got some cheese.
the rapper. It's a uh, baby bill. Okay. Maybe <laughs> we'll get lucky and a uh, range will come by with a nice bolt action rifle. Never know. Uh -huh. Oh, do we have our victim? It looks like it. Oh, oh there we go. It kind of looks like Charles Morgan. Perfect. That'd be probably. very funny. <laughs> what? Come on, Timmy. What the fuck is Timmy? <laughs> oh. And it's on. Oh. <laughs> That's right. I Just like we practiced. Now, Adelaide, why Adelaide? is he backing up? Why is he backing up? Uh, it's, it might be possible that Adelaide is down from the local, what? Why is he running away? Where the fuck is he? Been sick and broke for many years, but one What the fuck is this? Content. He's running away. Verse. The fuck is he doing? He's still there with his hands up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Dear for Lord. God's <laughs> sakes, he chickened out. <laughs> for fuck's sake. I thought you said he was capable. Uh, th that was what I heard, is that he's done a bank job before. He, and he was planning it. one with Look Tommy. He's creeping around the fucking shrubbery. <laughs> that little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitch. What's Adelaide doing? She's supposed to get up. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, she might, she Why might be she down. Why did she tell them that? So they could have helped her before. And you, you know what? Fuck it. I, oh, now he's helping. Timmy's helping. Don't now. worry. He's pointing at his horse just in case it tries to take off. He can blow its head off. God help me. I mean, are, are they down there giving him money? Kick his ass, take his money, and send him on his way. Uh, you know what? They've been down there now for like, what, three minutes doing this? Just fucking... Now she's off. They got it. It might be someone we know. No, it can't be. They've been holding up for three minutes. And now they're aiming again. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? She might have just got kicked by the horse. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and say that was a solid 2 out of 10. Let's go down and see what the fuck just happened. Yeah, fucking rob him. He had nothing to rob. They did rob him. He had nothing. And why did it take you five minutes to do that? I'm the one on the ground. How about you ask the ones with the guns? What did he have? Yeah, uh, what about Timmy? He had $20 yeah, yeah, yeah. and a cattleman. Yeah, Timmy, what was that you running away bullshit? Uh, well, when Emily said she knew him, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to retreat. I was telling him to put, put him up, but, um, well, yeah, I mean, well, I, 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 I don't know what else to do. It's not Timmy's fault. He said question. my name immediately. It's all
I got someone. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. Is that a lot, man? I, yep, a hundred percent. Fuck! God damn it! Well, yeah. I'm just saying, Adelaide is not us. Well, he might have a Lancaster at least. Yeah, they usually carry around a decent amount of cash, too, from time to time. True, true. Okay, it's, this is what Timmy should be doing. Did, did She's she beating just... the shit out of him. I'm pretty sure that's... What the fuck is his name? Oh, let's go, let's go. Wiley or something like that. You go. I know it was. What'd you get? A rifle and a gun and eight handcuffs. And, and money? A hundred dollars. We gotta go down. Alright, not bad. Let's, let's, let's ride. actually did it, man. <laughs> the fucking music, man. As it was happening was... I've had so much fun today, guys. It's been a good day. It's been a good day, man. Get out of here, fella. What are you? Oh, shit about it. Why you. does man say this was special to him? That nothing special about it. Everything alright, Wallaby? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, thank you for the help. Now give me the guns. And you'll get your, uh, well, your husband will get your 30% as usual. That sounds good. All right. Two guns and $100. You want the handcuffs? Yes, I do. Very good. <laughs> you both did a fantastic job. Oh, uh, well, it was mostly Adelaide. You know, I was just uh, more or less bad back on. Now, 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 now. He you begged me to... not to take it. You had to he be really scary. Did. You did a great job, Timmy. Thank I'm you. proud of you. I couldn't have done it without Timmy. 
Oh, uh, thanks, Adelaide. I thought I'd get too sentimental now. Likewise. All right. Oh. What? What's so special about that gun? Who fucking knows? But we need to get back to the uh, the saloon and act like we would know. We know we're never out this way, so. Right. Let's go. All you right. go to Rose. Get changed as soon as possible. Actually, they can change mm. in the saloon. Let's go. All right. The fucking horse. There he is. Zim's Fury, thank you for three months, man. Been sick and broke for many years, but wanted to thank you for your content. Dude, thank you so much, and I hope you get better, man. Actually, for the bad time. Nah, man, you're good, man. No, no. There's never a bad time, man. There's never a bad time. Thank you for the support. Oh, shit. I've seen that guy like 10 times today, I swear to God. Yeah, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give uh, Tommy his cut for sure. There's no road. There's no. There's no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Have I crashed? Ah. Uh, okay. I have to relog. <laughs> Uh, interesting. A little bit interesting. I've never seen that before. That's 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 different. That's different. I might, I might need to have to do a, a, a hard restart here. I think. You've never seen that. I think. <laughs> I think I might need a, a complete restart. Yeah, let's restart this whole fucking thing. Ah. Uh. I've seen that on 5M, but not Red M. Whew. What a fucking day. I got a package arriving today. Maybe maybe it's already arrived. Who knows? Do I still play 5M? I haven't played it in a long time, man. I don't know. I I I, I much prefer Red Dead than GTA. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I'm not even excited for the next GTA game. What's this? You opened it? What you opened my package for? Oh, it's for Luna. This is the wrong thing that I, I didn't order the- oh, whatever, man. I didn't order this. What did you try to order? W uh, one of these, but with actual brish bristles. Not this rubber shit. That's annoying. Does it have a... like an attachment? Not that I can find. Scams, man. It was a brush with- it had like... Ox hair or something? I don't know what it was. This is not ox hair. This is fucking crap. That's annoying. <laughs> Whatever. Can I not get back on the server? I think the game might be dead. <laughs> Did we just kill... Uh, I think we're dead, guys. I think it's dead in the water. <laughs> oh, it's... Yeah, it's. I think it's fucked, guys. I was I was probably gonna end when we got back to the saloon anyway, so I guess we can zend here. I mean, it's a little awkward, but it works, I guess. Yeah, fuck it, it's dead. <laughs> fuck it, we'll be back probably. Oh, you know what? I I might be on I might be on tomorrow. I might be on tomorrow, but it won't be until a little bit later because I got to take Luna to go get her operation. So. I might be an hour late than I usually start. Um, and that's if I stream tomorrow. I, I, I honestly don't know yet. Um, anyway.
I had fun today. I hope you did as well. Shout out to everybody that subbed, resubbed, donated. You guys are awesome. I love all of you. Uh, who am I going to send you to? Let's have a look. Is Elfwin streaming? That one lost. I don't seem to matter much anymore. I don't see. Let's see if she is. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see Eloth one. So I guess we go Dispy. Let's go raid right, Dispy. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Ta-ta and farewell. Bye.